don't hear anything. Check, check. I hear you. I hear me. Oh, now I hear you. I don't hear me. I hear you. You hear me? Okay. Yeah, you sound good. I hear you. We ready? <laughs> Are we on? Are we live? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to give me Oh, yeah, I got to do a one, two, three, right? Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. This, there's a lot of cock in this room, man. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I got to read the disclaimer. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Pete, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, brother. All right. One, two, three. All right. What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to Reflections of a DJ to Road podcast. This is our 100th episode. We're taking over the Mickey D show. You know what I'm saying? We got um, we got me, one of the hosts, DJ Crooked. We got DJ Neva. Yo, what up? We got Jamie the Great. Yo. Yeah. Uh, DJ D Miles is MIA. He's getting his ass fixed. His ass. Yeah, yeah, pause, 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 pause. His, a- his ass is still broken. But we got a uh, DJ Moma from Everyday People. Was good. Was good. Yeah, um, yeah. And then yeah, we're taking over the Mickey D show, but. It's your 10 year anniversary, yeah? Yeah, this yeah. month. The de- end of the month. month. Yep. And this is the last time you guys are going to be recording in this studio, in this location. Yes, sir. Yep. Because DJ City is moving to a, a bigger and nicer and newer office. Yeah. And it won't be so congested next time we do this. And it'll be Beat Source, the new Beat Source yeah. office, right? That's right. And if, any, if, if you guys don't know what Beat Source is, Beat Source is a new app that's launching, a new website that's launching. And it's between DJ City and Beat Port, yes? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that should be launching, I think, they're having an open beta test at the end of this month, September 23rd. So it'll be, we've been talking about Beat Source for a minute. They've been giving us all of this kind of merch. <laughs> Sturdy solo cups. Yeah, yeah. They've yeah. been putting all of this out here. So We got beach balls and towels as well. Yeah, yeah. So they've been giving us all this sh- shit and swag and stuff like that, so... But it's 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 a huge launch. It's a B port, which is probably what what the number one, I don't know, music download site for, for EDM for, for, for dance music, yeah, for yeah. dance music and DJs, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And DJ City is probably second. I don't know, one point sure. five. Yeah. Sure, let's call yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're tied. Yeah, they're tied. The time would be so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say I would say <laughs> DJ City is the number one for open format, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you have two of the best music download sites and uh, teaming up to create. Beats I don't know, something of like a live stream service for Serato? He's not really versed in technology. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like... You're no? bringing the two worlds no. together, basically. Am I just talking shit? Yeah. But possibly it could stream live? <laughs> Yo, chill, chill. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting what I mean, no? Okay. <laughs> just look it up. But I mean, people Brandy. have to know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. No? You right. sound like the dude in a quiz show who's like, do you have tired blood? <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're making the pitch. All right, so now we got so we got special guests over here. We got Rockticon. We got Grand Funk. We got Scooter. We got Stone Rock. Hi. We have a whole bunch of other motherfuckers here that should be coming in through, and just we'll be circulating that because... That table's like r- looking really white right now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right, Need some minorities. Either that or a parole hearing. <laughs> oh, we're, parole. On wrong, <laughs> we're on the wrong side. That's the Jew. Show, though. It this is the is Mickey, Mickey D, D show. D show right? Wait, yes. what's going on the the show or the or the road? Know, we'll figure that shit out later. But it That's is a Mickey awesome. D show. We do have a Mickey D's podcast. You know, a little plug. Yeah. But um, it's all one DJ City family. We had to make sure you know we mm-hmm. uh, had this opportunity to team up and yeah, yeah. yeah. hundredth episode. We're super excited. They yeah. called. The they pod. called yeah. me. Yeah, they called me up. They said we need to revitalize the Mickey D oh, show. Are, okay. We okay. Are okay. It. Was it that bad? <laughs> we were EMT. <laughs> right, as far as I know, Yo. y'all hit us up. So quick. <laughs> were they doing that bad that they had to call us <laughs> to come in? So quick, was, was, was quick, the truth. <laughs> quick and Phenom called me. They said, look, you know, we, we, we're the in a little bit of a bind here. We got to revitalize the show. No, that's why they put the black dude on the show. Yeah, that's it. And it did, <laughs> we got real on the pod. Part of the we leveled up. Yeah, and it still it still didn't work. So they were just like, "Yo, we, we need <laughs> check them streams, boy." Hey, hey, but, hey! But the reality is, we're uh, ten episodes in. 
Yeah. And so, you know, the numbers were looking good. So we figured we'd throw some love we to you okay, guys. Okay, okay. Some yeah. new audience from the No, but shout years. to Mickey D's. You guys have been around for 10 years. You guys have, like, showcased some of the great, best, best DJs and had, like, you guys were the first guys live streaming uh, sets from DJs like Q-Bert, yep. yep. A-Track, your favorite dude, Rock. Um, craze, craze, <laughs> Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack. pass the mic. Uh, <laughs> we, I'm just, I'm just sitting here having a good time. I know, I know. <laughs> We're all having a you good wanna, time. You want to get, try to get innocent. ratings? Try to get your ratings. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happened last time, Rock? We, we, we had Stone on the show too. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. Stone was gonna paint something, but yeah, just did not. I, did, I, I got too involved in the mix. In, I didn't paint you, you were yeah. gonna you were gonna paint during the interview and then you just hey Jamie Jamie to. pass pause <laughs> pass him the mic I think I brought like a Bieber po- I decorated the the you, studio you with brought something. a poster you brought a poster yeah, well I think it was Bieber yeah I don't we know appreciate whatever. the gifts though. yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you. And it's good to see I think that was the last time you were here <laughs> for you guys yes yeah oh. I came I came we came we did a show for them yes yeah but oh, now right. that you guys are back on the map because of the road podcast right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well maybe played. maybe I'll come maybe oh, maybe I'll come back well, right well played Stone I don't well, know. Shit. All right, so we uh, ended the summer. I kind of wanted to touch base with, since we have so many club DJs and DJs of all ages. I mean, hopefully we'll get some women DJs in here in the mix. You got one right behind me. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. She on okay, phone. so everyone could just chime in. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go over songs of the summer, man. I wanted to go over what was, what was popping this summer and what wasn't popping this summer here I in the f- States. I feel like the... New yacht rock mix by the Captains of Industry is really popping right now. <laughs> yacht mix, My yacht club. what? Yacht rock, yacht rock. Yeah, where is that available at? Sound SoundCloud. Okay, when did that pop off? Uh, last week. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> well, d- yeah. Plug that shit. I did. I just, just did. did. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Songs of the summer. I want to get through it, man. We had uh, what? Sweetie, my type. That's what. That's it, up it there. It was a woman's summer. It was definitely a woman's summer. Yeah. 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 It was definitely a women's summer. Yeah, right? I think the technical term is hot girl. Summer. Hot girl, hot girl summer. summer. Sure. That was a, that was a technical. Sure. Isn't it the city girl? City girl. City girl, city or hot, girl. girl. hot girl summer. Hot girl summer. Hot girl hot girl summer. It was both. Summer, this is really bad because we're talking about hot girl summer and we need some female representation up here. <clears throat> we we do. <laughs> we do. It would be better. Yeah. But I think. Um, <laughs> no, we'll work with what we got. I think the message was like relayed clearly. Like, you know, we got the city girls versus the city boys. Megan Thee Stallion, mm-hmm. she ushered the whole like hot girl summer thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think for those people that don't know the summer. difference between a hot girl and a city girl, can you <laughs> break, can it down? break it down? <laughs> yeah. We actually broke down the diff- the difference between a city boy and a hot boy and on the pod. Boy. So don't, does that connect with women as well? I'm sure it is. It's just one's male. Wait, what's the difference between a city boy and a hot boy? Break it down, real. <laughs> uh, all right, so a city boy basically is your average drug dealer. You know what I mean? Who's real loud about it? Oh, excuse me, said that wrong. City boy is basically someone that's on their hustle, not worrying about any female about or any they drama. Money. They can also they be in a relationship. They bag. They can be in a relationship, but you know mm-hmm. their focus is their career. The hot boy is basically your drug dealer, your average drug dealer who's loud about it. You know, your Frank Lucas type person. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, those are, that's considered your hot your hot boy. I don't know if hot girl is considered that. I don't know anything. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't uh, say hot girl is that same definition. Maybe the hot the girls roll with the um, the drug dealers. Yeah, maybe. They could yeah. Be. maybe. Yeah, there you maybe. go. They could. You know, and the city girls are like the nine. Look at this table of kids. white guys right here. <laughs> <laughs> so confused. Well, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> like, oh go on. This is, <laughs> if it's, oh, yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. the three black guys talking about city, city this girls, is exactly why. Repeat hot girl again. This is why I asked. Ah, exactly. See, this is, this, this is why I sent it over there <laughs> for that side of Family Feud. Did you guys understand <laughs> that? Yeah, I mean, I Did understand. Did you understand? Hot that? boy and hot girl, uh, okay. hot boy and city boy. But what about hot girl? And city I just girl? think it's like a, a hot boy or city boy is a fuck boy, no? No, no, no. See that? Uh, yeah, see, that's why we. That's why we talked about it because yeah. there was um, people were thinking there. No, but I know the old definition of a hot boy, maybe from like no, like Nolia, no like hot boys and shit. Yeah, but I don't know if that still pertains to now, a hot boy. No, I think it does definitely. Think I so? feel like kind of fits the it's the same pretty yeah. much. If you I'm really looking up hot it. girl right now in Urban Dictionary. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious! All right, let's get to the song <laughs> of the summer. Let's move on. Let's get to the song <laughs> of the summer. Testament to how like there wasn't a song. Yeah. There just what to me there was not a song. It's like you everyone has their little lane, and there's certain things that are popping in your lane, certain things popping in your lane. Things are sort of fragmented. There just wasn't 
a universal record this summer, I thought. Like I mean, a universal seem, club record. It didn't really seem like it. Old Town Road. No. Nah. No. 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 I mean, that's it a big, was the biggest pop hit of the summer, but I played it one in four nights, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was not like a, it wasn't a must play. There hasn't been a must play in a long time. Uh, you know what gets a reaction is Suge by the baby. That yeah. always gets a reaction. I mean, I don't know when it came out because it's all blurred to me. Yeah. But that <laughs> what one about got Act Up by City Girls? Yeah, yeah. same thing. I need City yeah. Girls song. Act what's, up. A, what's a City Girl? <laughs> a City Girl. <laughs> a, a girl who has been hurt over and over again by boys or men and now does not care about boys or their feelings. She is not a hoe. She is not a hoe. She is not a whore. Just does not care about men that hurt her. That's, pretty that's much a city girl. That's, that's a girl. city girl. Know, right? <laughs> and a hot girl is extremely good-looking woman, attractive, beautiful, etc. So a, a city girl can't be a hot girl. I think they can. Then I'm then I'm mutually exclusive. <laughs> yeah, let's, that let's was break like this user thing. submitted, like right. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, their summer's over, so yeah. <laughs> so this right? is just this is just demonstrating how disconnected the disc jockeys are from like, the culture. <laughs> it's all it's all you guys are doing right now. You think so? And also, everyone always thinks DJs get laid. It's like no, they don't. Listen yeah. to these fucking guys. Yeah. Yeah. What, are, what are they talking about? <laughs> Yo, you just mentioned Meg Thee Stallion, though, right? Yeah, I think very uh, for, influential. Yeah, I think for me, uh, it, it may not have been like one song in the summer, but there's like a trifecta. Yeah. Like between, if you didn't play Act Up, My Type, and Big Old Freak a bit earlier in the summer, like mm -hmm. yeah. you probably w would have missed out. You I know think what I mean? for the girls that know Meg, love Meg. So and there's a, still a lot of girls or just people in general that may not know. She doesn't her have music. a hit though, huh? She doesn't have a hit. That's yet. what I'm saying. But if you know her, you love all her songs. I think it's a little overhyped, man. I think she's I think she's the perfect perfect poster girl for like a hot girl summer or whatever like that. But I don't think the records. The records, I mean, I think she's just, she's right there, but I think it's a little early. Like she had, she didn't have that crossover record. I couldn't play all of her music in every room. I think, I think if How Good Summer would have came out like early in the summer with her and Nicki Minaj, Minaj, it would have kind of made her more of a household name. This song's fucking terrible. Terrible. That song's actually, yeah, it, that's her worst song horror. that she dropped. Yeah. But still, I don't know. But it's it, like more of a crossover than the other. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so it's introducing her to new audiences and I've seen her perform twice now. And even when she did Dre's that one night, it was probably the most popping night Dre's has had this this summer. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you know, respect. you know. You're going to go see so, like, her. Like, her following is so loyal. And, and she's a great performer. Like, I mean, for what you get, you want to go see, like, that's what's, what you're going to get And she's in her. college still. <laughs> she's still going wait, to school. Wait, City wait, girl. Is that song Hot City Girl Summer working for you guys every time you play it? I don't think anybody even plays it. I don't think I've it's like a warm-up it. record. I've heard it played. I've yet to play it. It's, it's a filler. It's I mean, it's, it's a just filler, a filler. Right? It's a filler. Then it's why a filler. is it bigger like out there in the, tw in the whatever verse, the in Instagram verse, than it is actually on the dance floor? Because that's what Instagram is. is. <laughs> it's just it's a bunch a of hype. It's not a It's an attitude. It's like the movement. It's a song piggybacking on a movement. And the movement was just like, uh, female empower it's like a female empowerment movement. It's like a hashtag hot girl summer. Like we're not taking this stuff from men no more. It's hot girl summer. And they jumped on that with the song, but it's late. The fucking video came out of Labor Day. Exactly. Yeah, right. It's crazy because yeah. they put Ty Dollar on it. They put a male on the song. Didn't they? Yeah, 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 they did. yeah. yeah. he's on the hook. Yeah. Would you consider the fact that they sampled Act Up the reason why it's so difficult to kinda like play it again kind of thing? Like is that mentality of playing another record like playing it over? Know. No, I think it kind of helps the record. Yeah, I, think I think it helps. I, I think it's just like we've been hearing a lot of this whole girl movement, and now towards the end of it, and the summer's over, it's like, all right, that's it. Like something else is gonna happen. Something else needs to change. Pop smoke something needs to come is, in and like show them what's up. This no. is not. This is not dissimilar to the release of Crazy Rich Asians when Crooked thought it was gonna be, <laughs> like every movie was gonna be an Asian movie. It's like now it's a rap. You got one. Women got one summer. That's it. It's a rap. Asian now. moment. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a pretty good movie. It was it, it was a good movie. I wish you guys got it, it you could get some more shine for sure. I mean, yeah, we got what, what do we have this year? Farewell. Yeah, um, the same with Aquafina. I don't know if it's the same director. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that was our what hot Asian summer. Yeah. yeah with crazy rich Asians. <laughs> so, Rock, you mentioned Pop Smoke. I mean, I was, that was clearly I was that was clearly the record of summer in New York, though. Yeah, no, but and that, that's like a regional it? thing. That was the biggest Pop record. Pop Smoke was like the but biggest everyone shit in here. New York. I think everyone here can 
can agree that Pop Smoke sounds like the most unplayable club record. I feel like these guys it sounds like a UK drill record. record. Agreed. Yeah. It's just it a UK sounds, drill record. I don't think it's produced well. I don't think it's like. I'll put it this way: crazy. if I drop that record, I guarantee you, a manager might run up to the booth and be like, "What the fuck are you playing right now?" In Vegas. In Jamie's, Vegas. One hundred percent. Yeah, it didn't pop off on the West Coast. No. Well, not in Vegas it, at least. It, it, it popped off. It, it like popped four off the Bay Area every... tables, and I had like oh. two New York tables, oh, and it was just Bay versus New York, and like the dance floor was just standing around like. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it popped off. It popped off at Everyday People last night. Yeah, oh, yeah you had like crazy. You had a bunch of New York transplants there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a little bunch of New York motherfuckers that flew that moved to L.A. and that was just wilding the fuck out. Now, uh, uh, L.A. natives call us the transplant party, you know, mm. and it's funny to be that because of how much we knock transplants in New York, and now I'm out here. Repping for them, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, saw Jimmy play it last. I, I played Pop Smoke. Uh, so how it, how far in the song did you even? Dude, get it was like ten seconds, out? and I pulled out. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> sounds Boy, like man. your love life. <laughs> What's up with that, man? <laughs> Yo, Mickey walked over and said, "That's the fastest I ever seen you pulled out." I was like, "Whoa, hey, oh. yeah, that's even, <laughs> even worse." I've never seen you. Pull Can you take out. the Whoa. mic away from him? Whoa, <laughs> shit! Is that possible? Yes, <laughs> both of it, everything. Everything. All right, so wait, wait. I want to. I want to. We gotta narrow it down to one song of the summer because we have other. We have I don't other think joints. It exists. I think we should vote. I don't think it exists. I know, my type. I my type. I got. I got people in the group. All right, wait, 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 wait. wait. What people. about Uno? I'm, I got. I got a couple other ones. Tatiana's not even on the list, right? Nah. Oh. Nah. No. Go loco. Nah. No. no. Uh, truth hurts, Lizzo. That's what I no. want to know. Oh, Has oh, anyone oh. even fucking played that shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a big Women song. love that shit. Huge. It's a big song. <laughs> really? that, that's the track. You play the whole track. You go to use the restroom. You hit the bar. You come Mama. back. Do you play Lizzo? I was going to play last night, but it, it would have been my first time, but DJ Equal beat me to it. So I never played Huge, it. Huge, right? It was big last night. Pause. I played it. Uh, yeah. um, never play it. I would it never works, play man. it. It works, man. I mean... Wait, 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 Dude, what no, are you it's, doing? Now? It's, it's to be it? faithful this time. It for doesn't women. give you a Missy vibe at all. Well, I'm and did you like a Missy vibe. No, Missy's fine, but so, no, it doesn't give me. A, it gives me a Megan Trainer vibe. Yes. Uh, to quote Crooked, the great DJ Crooked. I think Megan I think Trainor. Lizzo was Megan Trainer. <laughs> Yes. White people, are, oh, white okay. people are out. That song, that Trainor. song, Truth Hurts, sounds like a song from a musical. It's fucking terrible. She makes musical songs, like songs that came from a musical, like Grease or something. Yeah, it theater. sounds like that. You don't like, you don't like music in your songs. You don't like anything musical. Anything. No, it just sounds too <laughs> theatrical. <laughs> like, like, did you hear her album? Like Rent. Yeah, so, it sounds like something from so Rent. So it has a piano in it, so that's too theatrical for it. She you. sounds like she just, something just happened, and then she back. starts singing it, to herself, and then... It sounds like fucking Rent. He's not wrong. This yeah. shit sounds like Rent. It sounds like something from a musical. Where I play, I can't play that. Uh, it's too cheesy. Maybe music. Still, it's good as shit. Dude. Are you I playing like, the like version with the tipsy drums? No. <laughs> 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 I'm actually surprised people play it. It's so fucking bad. Dude, I like it. It works. Yeah, dude, it, gets, it, it gets a crazy it reaction from this. women and some guys. Hey, wait, wait, wait. But when it, when it first came out, would you get a half and half? Like, I had, like, half girls hating on it and yeah. half girls really loving it at first. Well, yo, never you, you brought it up that, uh, uh, what's her name? Azalea Banks? Yeah. She just like went off on Lizzo and that whole song. Well, she's always she goes off on everybody. Goes off on everything. I think she's just mad at the world. Yeah. Like split in half. I'm like, oh, some internet shit happened that I don't know anything about right but now. But what did what did she say exactly? She said something to the effects like, uh, I mean, it was really fucking. It was like kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> it was really like a fucking offensive. She kind of called it like a, a modern day which um, mammy. Oh, yeah, she got a new dude from the Minnesota Vikings. That's all I know. She got what? A new dude from the Minnesota Ooh, Vikings. Is that your bank? Oh, I just talking about Lizzo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just quoting no, her. No, they were. They were just. <laughs> she was just saying that I white white people need like a new like like version Look at, of like Aunt Jemima. Yeah, Aunt Jemima, and that's the new Aunt Jemima for the American people. Like just wild. parading that's around. Wild offensive. That's wild, wild offensive. Wild offensive. Yeah, man. I can I can I read. We, uh, we cannot co-sign anything that is Elliot. I'm offended. So Never on says. this podcast. Like, no, not also, at all. Black delegations would like to trade her. To, I like to uh, apologize <laughs> in advance. Oh my god. Oh no no. Oh my god. I'm apologizing in advance to all the women listeners right now for witnessing twelve dudes talking about hot girl summers and Lizzo. That's how we're kicking off your hundredth episode. And female empowerment. So we don't know anything. Thank we're God their summer's over. We don't, we don't have to take no shit. <laughs> but like a hip hop crowd is not fucking with Lizzo. 
A little bit. Really? Oh, it's no, like an anthem. So. It's yeah. like a ladies' an anthem. anthem. Yeah. And I heard the and album's good too. Also, Viana co-signed it. Co-signed her. Mm. When? Recently, Everybody co-signed her. She did her. the performance on the BET Awards oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. MTV Awards. It's so fucking. The bad. baby's it's on crazy. the remix. Yeah. Talking that the baby shit. Oh, my favorite rapper. Can't wait to hear that one. <laughs> <laughs> The follow through on the mic passes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Beyonce even so co-signed her at the yeah. Made in America. Yeah, she exactly. was like she was yeah. on the sidelines. It's like Missy you co-signed. Guys paid, it, everybody. pay attention to some wild shit. Seriously. Yeah. Hey, we've got a pulse. <laughs> we got a, we got a finger on the pulse of the culture. Though. No, I listen just, to your show more. I heard it. I immediately liked it. I was like, I like this. I'm playing it. Like I didn't even think about anything. I didn't know any of the politics or anything behind it. I was just like, this is gonna work well with girls. All right. So like, wait, wait. Let's do like a vote, I guess, in the whole room. Sure. I'm just gonna name a couple songs, and Jamie, you can keep count. Actually, uh, I got a better view of the room, so. I'll... Yo, uh, people on the on the live stream are saying "Act Up" is the one, and "Truth Hurts." Truth Hurts and yeah. "Act Up." All right, so see, let's put it between those two. I see one my type, yeah, no and that's wow, about it. But you, but my type, my type gives you a better reaction anywhere. I mean, we've seen it at everyday people. No, yesterday. but it's short. My type's a little short lived. I, I get a better reaction from Act Up. Than my type is not really like an original original yeah, right. record. Uh, you know, it's. I kind of see what Petey you're Pablo. saying. Pablo. Pete Pablo. It's Pete Pablo. That's fair. Yeah, it's Pete Pablo. Yeah. But it's still fucking. I still still It's amazing. still a huge record. Yes. I love it. I just got the BPM is up in the 90s and again. 90s, again. So changes everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that the BPM is up. That was you want to talk who won the summer? BPM won the summer. Uh, to me, I'm glad we're dancing whoa, whoa, again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beats per, <laughs> beats per <laughs> minute. Hey, 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 beats wait, per wait, minute. 96. Wait, how you <laughs> use the reference. Wait, give him the like mic. That's like cursing in We're going to go. Hey, let's go with tempo instead of uh, tempo. those three letters you got. Tempo. tempo. Yes. <laughs> tempo. Pardon me. These guys are so petty. Like I love it. <laughs> I love that. Everyone put your beat source cups in the air right just now. Just <laughs> <laughs> Represent. I just like the energy. I found the energy was back. Like, yeah. got some energy. Wait, what are back. people saying in the stream? Act up. It's act up. Act up and Lizzo. We got act, act, we got act, act up. up and Lizzo. Hey, Dazzler. Oh, God. Shout out to Dazzler. Dazzler, come here. She's over here to hand out beverage. Oh, fucked up. I'm over here. Dazzler yeah. serving all these men. Well, <laughs> yeah. No, no, put the beverage. So much for hot She got the bottles ready to go. Shout out to everybody in the live stream, by the way. We see you. I'm seeing you. And uh, Stone Rock seeing you. Okay. Ooh, let's talk about what's it. The song, what's the song of the summer? What do you think? You? My type. My type. My type. Yeah. There you Why? Go. There, you go. there you go. Why? Jamie knows the words. Ooh. Hey, easy, easy, oh, easy. There you go. I do Jamie know the words. He knows the words. He does. Huh? <laughs> he does. No, no, I can't. I forgot. I can't. I was, I was Copy, recording copyright. Jamie while I was DJing. Uh, lady in a building. What is it? Which one is it? My type. My type. Ladies the gentleman said otherwise. Crooked, what's that line from My Type that you were talking about? I hate that line. No, talk about it. Let's nah, hear it. I don't no, hate no, no, no. it. I just think what, it's what was it? It's that one you got tattooed on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, say it. Say the line. Uh, you were asking if the guys sing along. Say it. I don't, don't want to. Yeah, you know it. it. I can't say, say it. it. I can't. What are you can't. so afraid of? Say it. Say it now, man. I can't. Well, well, Crooked, how do you get it? Whisper it. Other people saying Shug. Huh? People are saying shit. No, 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 no. Don't let them off the hook. Say <laughs> oh the line. God. Wait, what are the people saying? Shit. No, 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 no. Say the line. <laughs> I'm not saying the line. I'm not saying the line. I can't. I, you know. Oh, we have a few. No, I'm not. I'm not. We, have, I'm not. A, we have a few Australians saying that my type is the biggest record out there. It is bigger out there? Yeah. Paul. Who fucking cares what Australians have to say? <laughs> 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 I, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad is this Australia is Australia uh, canceled? No, I'm glad. No, 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 easy. <laughs> Last time was Nigeria, and I was Australia right, going to chill. Let's, let's do a vote. Act up, raise your hand if that's a song of the summer. I think Which was it? Act up. Between those two songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Wait, ten. Which between what? What's it going to be? Uh, song of the summer. I'm going to go on my type. Truth Hurts. Oh, Truth Hurts. Oh, truth Hurts? Nobody. You guys, no one likes the song, that's why. <laughs> I'm fine words. with it. Yeah. I'm fine with it. You gotta admit though, act up after the first verse is a horrific song. That oh, second the second verse, verse it comes in like that's because Little Yachty wrote it. <laughs> yeah, but then what's her name right. performed it horrible? The one that's M not in jail, right? The one that's oh, yeah. not in jail, oh, easy. Oh, oh, oh. What's her name? MIA or Miami? Young, or yeah, young, young Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah, young Miami. Yeah, yeah, she, young that's young what, Miami. She's the second verse. She, she yeah. sounds like yeah, she's she reading it off a of paper. Okay. Yo, I, I, got, I got on the mic. The summer. <laughs> I get on the mic when that song comes on. So I'll oh. give a $100 bill to anybody who can, knows the words to the second verse, and I let it play, and no, no. one has ever taken it. And that's like 10 times. But I give it to you, man. I mean, when when we played Act Up, right, I've never seen a crowd sing the first 16, 8 to 16 bars straight where you can just take the beat out. Yes. And you hear all you hear everyone singing that shit. 
That's right. When was the last song that came out that was like that? It hasn't been in a while. Where they would sing 16 bars in a row of a song. So I would, I would give it to Act Up. Uh, we have another mention in here, Joanna. That, I was going to do the international That's song. That's different. That's more like the song of the year because it's played all over the world. Cool yeah. in the gang, Joanna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. International. Because that's my vote. I'm voting for that one. My type gets how many votes in here? I got one. I got one. I think that's one. Did you vote for Act Up? Four. No. no. <laughs> Double vote. Five. 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 Voter fraud. Yeah, it's only like five of us in here for Act Up. This is what's wrong with Recount. the country. Recount. <laughs> I do think, though, you're right. Grading on a curve, like. Hey. Uh huh. What, what, what's wrong with grading on a curve? Is that weird? Hey, grading like on a curve for how far a song has had to come and sort of what Ugh. it's done and how it's transcended. Uh, Drug Buzz like the biggest song. Yeah. Like it's not the biggest charting song. It's not the song everyone knows, but it's a song that sort of kind of coming from to the average American, like coming from nowhere and being like, oh, I really like this thing and like what's this thing and gaining steam and like becoming a thing. It's done way more than any of those other songs. And I think it's gonna be around, you'll be playing that song long after uh, my, the My Type and all this stuff is, is gone. That song Facts. will be in your opening set for years and years. It's like a murder she wrote. You know? yes. I want to yeah. say like a Lumidi. Lumidi um, yeah, like a Lumidi, yeah. The only, the only thing is that like, I, I will say this, like playing in Vegas and playing in certain rooms, it's not, it's not there yet. Yeah. It's not hitting like a Kevin Little turn me on. It's not hitting like the bam, like a like the bam bam murder she wrote. I don't think it's peaked yet. I think it still has room to go, go. I up. hope so. Yeah, I, I don't think. I it's really peaked. hope. So. Yeah, yeah, I really hope so. And I, th I, th I think that it will get there. I hope it does. It, it hasn't reached. I know in New York, it's huge. It's on the radio. It's on Facts. high ninety seven. No right. one comes over and says, "What's this?" When you play, like a lot of other stuff. But that's one of those records you always get. Like, "What's this? What's this?" Mm -hmm. Always, always, always. Shouts to Afro B. Yeah, shout yeah. Shout to Af uh, I actually wanted to touch on this pause if you wanted to talk about it. I would say the international song of the summer, I was gonna say a couple joints. Right? I, I feel like reggaeton didn't really have a I could be wrong. Was there like a standout reggaeton track this summer? There was a really shit ton of releases, but I feel like nothing. That's last year. Last year. Nothing. Was, nothing was like. Like Bote and X, right? That was last year. Everything yeah. was from last year. But they, I mean, there I was a. Ton I think the year. biggest song for me was Baila, but it wasn't like. But was that last year or that this year? Was this year. That was last year. Yeah. yeah. Baila. I was but even say, that, even that kind of limp. limp. I was. I was gonna say Con Calma with Daddy Yankee. And then uh, China, right? The the new one that sounds like it wasn't me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The I'm Shaggy of, joint. I'm, I'm well, speaking of Matt's team. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a good record. With the but those are only those are only real two that kind of what like crossed about, over a little bit, right? What about Con Calma? Yeah, I said Con Calma. You said that. Yeah, one? yeah. Um, and then I was gonna say, I was gonna ask you, what's the bigger record? Because there's there's Toast Coffee, right? Right. Uh, Fall Davido. Okay. And then there was obviously John as the bigger record, but I wanted to know what was bigger because. One of you, one of us was talking that they got a bigger reaction for Toast Coffee in the in the spot. You guys, right? Yeah, uh, comment was we played. Uh, yeah, we played Toast. Did we play Fall? I think we played Fall right after that. But Toast was the one that kind of got amped, and we were just coming off from uh, David, um, Joanna. So it was those three back to back. Is Toast a bigger record than it can't be then? Davido, then what? Then Davido Fall. Um, it's not for like a pop audience, but it is probably for, you know, an Afro beats slash dance hall audience for yeah. sure. Because Davido Fall is old, you know. Uh, Drogba, that song is old. It's right. over it's like a year old. Years like two years. I don't yeah, even know how so old. So these records take forever to like to hit out here. But um, Would you say one of the bigger records too was Boasty? Boasty is like an amazing filler. It's just, but it's not a record that. It's like, Dr request. it's like Drake Blem or something. It's got great swing, but yeah. it isn't. It doesn't have those like. Shouldn't that have, shouldn't that have really been a bigger record? You. I feel like that what, should have Boasty? been a bigger. Yeah, I think it's it's big. the swing is so nice and it sounds I so feel good, like but it doesn't have like every DJ. Every time I went to see another a DJ and I would listen to them, they played it, and they know they knew damn well like it wasn't gonna maybe, like make the room go off, but they still played it because they're like, this is too good. I cannot not play this. Yeah, it's just oh. it's missing like that hook. Yeah. Right. But the beat and shit, everything sounds really good. It's just missing that like one last like the Joanna's. But I, no one, no one ever lost the room playing Boasty. No, you know what I mean. It's and a good it's, record, and it's one of those great records that's kind of in the middle between 100 and 110, that kind of just keep the room up, and you can like, it's a great transition record to like going. 
into like faster shit or you right. to slow shit down, right? Yeah. We, we need more of those records in like 110 or something yeah. like that. We have a few people on the on the chat that's yeah. saying Con Calma is a big record, Soltera remix. Somebody said they're not playing enough reggaeton over there. <laughs> and uh, wait, wait, what what about the other record, the DJ Snake record? Loco con, uh, Loco contigo, Loco contigo. Right? Yeah, yeah that is was, that big? Is that? That's a good record. I mean, that's a good record. I think it's picking up as I think Mickey said that earlier. Uh, Callaita, Mojaita, and uh, yeah. Before we uh, before we continue, JCO, we got my man JCO in the building. Can we make some room for my man over here? Yeah, I got it. We can make this table, this section, even more white. Even more white. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This oh is the privilege God. section. Oh, Damn. <laughs> but and, and one record. Um, you fucked up for y'all or us? <laughs> you can't forget about Burner Boy, yeah. Even though it's an old record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually probably. Uh, in certain circles, it's as big as Toast and bigger than Joanna, which is played out in certain circles. It's you know? the new Jo. It's like the new. It's the new record. I was it's talking to Ross one, and he said that in L.A., wherever he plays, um, is, it, is there a One Oak or One a Oak Avenue? Yeah, he's at. Yeah, he said houses. that it's a it's a prime time record in really? those clubs on the weekend. Yes, yeah, so wow. people are saying that you guys are forgetting about Burner Boy. Yeah, yeah, Burner Boy. He's going off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blessed. Uh, what is that? Oh, but, um. um Mr. Vegas? Tiger's on there, right? Yeah, I think Tiger's on there, too. Doja? Yeah. There's your answer. Tiger's on there. <laughs> 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 Thank God Khan is here, man. What's her name? What's blessed, though? Get the mic. Pause. What's Stop. blessed? Who's the artist on that? Her name is... What did you say? Shansia? Shansia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a dance hall artist. It's, it's, yeah, it's a huge... It's, I mean, I've been getting a huge reaction from it. They say um, Nicki Minaj bit off, um, bit off of her with um, Megatron. Oh, shit. With the I mean, beginning, what um, a dud that was, huh? That yeah, that was a bomb. You're big about time. to catch some heat, though. Why? Going against up against Nikki like that. I know, right? Oh, uh, the barbs. <laughs> well, yeah, let's oh, talk. Man, the barbs. I don't think the barbs. I mean, I, I hope. I hope that the barbs tune into yeah, the, the road podcast. Kind of I sure they do. The they don't turn into the Mickey D show either. So we need that smoke. No, I'm just glad. You gotta remember, I'm glad they filmed this hundred episode. Yes, the road podcast. I made one tweet like I don't even remember what it was, but I referenced Nikki, and I just got. Attacked really wow. by like a million Nikki. What would you say? Scared. What'd you say? I wish I remembered it. Nah, you're scared. But I don't, it, <laughs> you don't want to say it. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably deep in the archives. I gotta say though, ever since that big white girl was singing Cardi B at that wedding, I like haven't wanted to play Cardi B songs. What big what white girl? That like broad shoulder white girl rapping along to that oh. Cardi B song. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Like a, what song was she It's like a viral thing, right? Yeah. It, 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 yeah, yeah. What, the, it was money. It was. Yeah. It just made me not want to play Cardi B. It was well, just like, oh. Can we talk about? Music. Can we talk about like the overhyped songs of the summer? The biggest overhyped songs of the summer. Megatron. I mean, Pop Make smoke. Hot well, girl summer. Pop smoke. <laughs> Who said that? You? Pop smoke. You think so? Overhyped, bro. Wait, but who's Yo, hyping? Summer who's in hyping? New York. I haven't seen it in New York. Listen, man, I, I give the people what they want, man. <laughs> you know, Bobby I make the record came is, out. I was yeah, playing yeah. Bobby Schmurda. Yeah. Computers came out. I was playing computers. Pop Smoke came out. Like, New York is no longer, like, the leader in terms of setting the trends for hip-hop and what's huge mm -hmm. in clubs, like, around the country. But whenever we have a record that we just co-sign locally, everybody gets behind it, jump whether it's it. good or not. It, yeah. And that's yeah. what Pop Smoke is right now. Yeah, I got for, a question. For one song a year. Uh, New York, like one really one, good, yeah. one big thing. Like we're actually like the old Atlanta, which used to generate like one hit wonders. You know, like Hurricane, what a hey, baby, Hurricane Chris. Yeah. You know, this, this, and now Atlanta is more like consistent artists. Yeah, yeah. And we have like one hit wonders, mostly because they get locked up after their first hit. <laughs> <laughs> Got to figure that part out. You know what I mean? So what? Wait, what's there's no more Bamba of this year, right? Because that was kind of the New York. Bamba was year. like last year. Yeah. Right? Well, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. It hasn't Pop gotten Smoke. there yet, though. In New York, it has. It has? Not. In New York, it's huge, huge bro. Y'all from Cali. All, all, everyone from Cali. Do you think Pop Smoke is going to cross over? No. 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 no, it's, no. no. Dude, I try to play it. I've already watched. It's like. It's too early, it's so though, no? Flat. It's no. too early. Think so? no, it's, Just know, wait. Man. Wait it's, for totally Beyonce crazy. to do an Instagram video to it. And everybody in this room is going to be playing it. It just takes Beyonce to co sign a record. The shit's out of here. You think Beyonce is going to co-sign it? Though? <laughs> She'd be co-signing like obscure shit, you know, all the time. But in your gut feeling, you're like, this is unplayable. I mean, that Lizzo thing, I immediately was like, I like that track. When I first heard this one, I was like, what am I going to do? It's hard with this? to play in the club. But yo, in, in, mm -mm. 
But also when I when I think you I played Mo Bamba like last year sometime or before that. You were like, what the fuck is this? That's because Remember? you played on your laptop. There was like no baseline. I was like, this is stupid. Like, regardless. I'm still like, yeah. asking what the fuck is this? With Mo Bamba? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear what you hear? The kick get in? Like, you get the power of the track, the way it's built. But I still, you know, so it's you, still mystery to me. So though. you'd put Pop Smoke in overhyped songs of the, of the summer? Yeah, I would have to. I don't think it was even hyped. Yeah, I was about to say it's, it's not even hyped. It's, it's a New York is. thing. This uh, popping in New Card, York. Cardi yeah. B press definitely. It's a bubble right? thing. I don't even know what but that, that is. I yeah. mean, I didn't even get that much love. No, huh? not at all. No, press? press didn't get that much. Love. It she got was, a lot of social media. Buzz, I think it was though. overhyped because she just she really pressed. She pushed it. it. Yeah. <laughs> she, she pushed it. Get the video. It was a single that she released. What is press? She won the award, right? Yo, Rock, I'm with you. I never even heard it. I don't even know what that is. But it's like it's like one of the records she made a video for, which like you know you're not making videos for everything, and then they just pushed it really hard and looked like they're really invested into it. Just didn't do nothing. Yeah, like her B cuts or whatever. Were How's she better. gonna be in that movie? What movie? She's in that Adam McKay. Oh, the J Lo. Oh, she killed it in that movie. Huh? Well, what, what is this? Okay. A stripper. She's organically. She's just, uh, yeah. Oh, she, herself. Herself. she was made for that role. <laughs> Hustlers? <laughs> Hustlers. 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 Oh yeah, Hot Girl, Hot Girl well, Summer Hot Girl is the overhyped song. Should be overrated. Is the overrated record. Is the overhyped song? Overhyped. Because they were they, they did the whole like live with uh, Meg and Nikki, and they built it up, and they did all the shit, and then it just and you have tie on it, you're just like, yo, this shit should be a hit. And it just didn't they know. get like an MTV award before the video came yeah. out? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it did. It, well, what about Wiggle It? What's that? Is that oh. even working in New York? I don't even know what that is. That's I a French like Montana that's song. Wrong, man. Yo, that is a song on paper. Sounds like it should be a hit. French right. Montana and oh, City I Girls. I seen this, that video. The oh, French Montana. Yeah, yeah. City Girls and French Montana. It's fucking yeah. terrible. It should be a hit. It's a Nightcrawler's flip. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah it's a disaster. All right, so another. Oh, <laughs> yeah, real quick, real quick. Yeah. Uh, DJ Dima just checked in the group on the on the live chat. Oh. He says hello from Aruba, everybody. Is, is his ass better? <laughs> whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? Uh, another overhype uh, we, we were talking about would be the whole Khaled album. Yeah, that's what the studio wow. audience is saying. Yeah. DJ yeah. Khaled. But DJ is, Khaled's is album. the overhype. Rihanna record on that album? No, that was the last that album. That was the last album. That was the yeah. last. Okay. They tried to do Are another you, one of those. I don't think anyone plays a single you, record off that album. Off no. the Khaled album right now? Uh, nothing. Outside nothing. of Wish Wish, maybe. There's a DJ yeah. City edit for Just Us with the, uh, the Outcast out the front kick cut up. That shit fucking works all the time. It's just an acapella. I mean, it's basically Miss Jackson, but just like right. oh, acapella intro. Wait, acapella wait, hold intro. on. That shit works yeah. though. Wait a yeah. second. So you put the acapella of the song they sampled back over the song? It goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember where you are. I'm just curious. <laughs> I didn't make that. I just okay. played. I'm just curious. Fair. It's interesting. It is. Yep. Wow. By the way, we got a new uh, audience here. We got Bella, Night Train. Oh, yeah, have Shazier. them come in. Have them come right, in. Hold on. Yeah, we got room in here. They hey, what happens, what happens if you don't pause? Like, does the earth swallow itself? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it's just it's like a, it's really like a Harlem thing. Like, just hanging out with these dudes just really fucked up my head. It would be That's really tight is. if you didn't pause. I want to, like, see you, like, I could do it. deconstruct. I could do it. No more pauses if, for the rest you, of this episode. Stop pausing. Like, That's, like, a, say, that's say, a challenge. The pause challenge. Say, say, say mention something. Uh, yesterday at Everyday People, Jamie tried to pause me because no, no, no. my it, host, my host said, oh, I love it when you give me the mic, DJ Moma. And he said, pause. And I was like, but my host is gay. Can't, How are you, you going to pause, pause a gay You can't, you yeah. can't pause, pause wow, a gay guy. Jamie, wow, you Jamie. You cannot wow, pause Jamie. a gay person. Me, me and Stone Rock came to a long way. Yo, me and Stone Rock came to a conclusion that... Stone Rock and we, I. Stone Rock and I, just... <laughs> <laughs> Stone Rock and I came to a conclusion that you cannot... <laughs> Everyone you cannot pause the gay guy. Excuse me. Never <laughs> pause a gay person. We cannot pause a gay person. I, I need some. Uh, I need some female women representation up into the front. Uh, yeah, excuse yeah. me, women. 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 We need some women DJ representation the, to the what's front. What's the politically correct thing to say now? Okay. Women DJ. Women, women DJ. Okay. Yeah. Because female. Because I remember we said female on the show, and they were like, "Yo, you can't say that." Yeah, you can't that. say yeah. that. Don't yeah, you guys go over this stuff so every so single episode? Every episode, you guys have the same conversation. I was kind of about pause. We got, we got and Bella to coming. Call women, <laughs> refer to women DJs. Yeah. Oh, and Lady Shaw. Kinda, Shop. yeah, Lady Shaw. Obama, he good? Nah, man. Can you guys move over a little bit? Jamie, you guys are easy. Jamie, you guys are easy. Always want to make you hot. Nah, I need to get Neva. He's been. I know he is. Hospitality. No, you're done. I, I know you're done. I'm not. Stone, move over a little bit more. I'm not done. 
<laughs> yeah, right there. What are you driving? I am. Welcome to my truck. What are you responsible? <laughs> I, this is what I want to know. Yes. How long is Antonio Brown going to last on the Patriots? The oh, whole sure. year. Oh, he's going to be hating. The whole year. The whole through, season. Through the, he's going to be hating. He's going to live out his contract. He Bill did Jack that, don't he play did that, that bullshit just to get over there. Yeah. Hey, Cricket doesn't know grand. what you guys are talking yeah. about. I don't know about Cricket sports. Cricket doesn't know shit what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I just said Bill Sports. Nothing about He's a boxer. Finally, we got some minorities on that side. Finally, yes. We have a few. It was looking like it was looking like the white privilege table over there. <laughs> the only one's Bella, really. Yeah. True. Hey, we got Bella Fiasco and uh, DJ Lady Shaw in the building. What's up, yeah. Wait, the females show up and then Rock Dagon starts talking about football. I know, right? <laughs> Damn. Rock Wait, we we wanted to ask you guys what's what's up with the what was the song of the summer? We we everyone I, voted I act up. I had you guys on live stream in the car while I was driving over and mm, I was just speeding loyal. more and more and more because I was like twelve fucking guys talking about. I know, right? It's not right. Summer. That's not right. Act Up for me was That's huge, and Act Up yeah. has more, you know, it's it's been I've been playing it longer than No Type. I don't doubt that No Type will be my as type, big as, my type, my yeah. type will be as big as Act Up or more. But I play the two of them back to back. But I've been playing Act Up a lot more, so I would say everyone does know those first Till sixteen now, bars. You're playing Act Up more than My Type. Now I do Act Up into My yeah, Type. There you go. So I feel like I, I feel like my type now. has become the bigger record yeah, now, right now, now just because act up like, like my type came in later during yeah. the summer and that's why it caught up to act up. Yeah, but definitely act up in like since the beginning of the summer, everybody's yeah. playing act, act up. Just has more time on it. But yeah. I might say that uh, my type is benefiting from the hot girl summer no, movement yeah. that act up created. Absolutely. With, yeah. with those city other girl. city girl Created songs. The, yeah. Right? Because yeah. what was the, the first song they had that popped? Yeah. Uh, I'll right. Take Your Man. Twerk. That's yeah, that, I'll, I'll Take, take Your Man. And then Twerk, twerk came out. Twerk, twerk, came, twerk, twerk came out first. Twerk came out first. No, I'll twerk Take Your Man came out I'll Take Your Man is old. I'll Take Your Man came out last time. I'll Take Your Man is old. But did that work for you? I know you were really hard. I played it early. Yeah. I did play it. It worked a little bit. I tried to play it and it just never worked for me ever, man. I just like that salt and pepper. Yeah. Nobody knew that sample. They got lost. What about you, Bella? Song of the summer. Same. That's a given. Act, Act up. up. My type. That's it. Act up. But my type is getting a little bit more. Right now. Buzz. Yeah. Only because it came later. But like she said, it goes hand in hand. Okay. <laughs> pause. No, yeah. no pause. We're not pausing. We're not pausing. Hey, yo, what, no pause challenge. You can't pause. <laughs> gay people, you can't pause women. Hey, yo, Bella, not Lizzo, though? Um, I guess depending on the crowd. Like in Vegas, it works. But when I play at like more hip hop clubs out here kind of corny you know but yeah, yeah. the bottle service it, voice it's, of it's reason. a girl it's a girl's anthem but like i don't know i can't get away with that in like a predominantly hip-hop club because it's not Even a hip-hop song like a, not, yeah yeah well it's not, exactly it's top it's 40 so not really but it doesn't even sound like a top 40 song it sounds like like we were talking it sounds like something from a musical yeah it sounds yeah. Like, like some Chavis andre song. 3000 shit yeah, but, really but that four color zach he's had a lot of success playing the tracks from the lion king so it's, oh, it's okay. no big surprise all right yo shout out zach uh, yeah, overhyped songs of the summer. We were just like, if we're gonna vote, what we say, Khaled album, the most overhyped shit of the summer. What <laughs> <a> project? <laughs> yeah, whole project. Yeah, Hot Girl Every Summer song. is overhyped. Is that working for y'all, Hot Girl Summer? I've played that maybe like a couple times. No, it's not yeah, popping. It's not. It's, it's, it's pretty six. dull. It's not popping. Okay, it. we're over it then. No, no. To, to me, this is so what it never does. Made it. this is what it does. The floor doesn't go anywhere. Like more people get on the floor, but they're not excited about it. To fill it. They're not like, like hey, they're like, they're like, it's oh, look, yeah. I know this, I know this. I, I think it's like a really good 1145 record. It's a Vegas record. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got a long night. No. You got to fill it in. It's not an LA record. And that's not even, it's not even hitting in New York, huh? Not at all. No. Damn. Wow. That's a West Coast. That's a bunch of West Coast. All right. I got a question for a moment. Yo, is Bestie, is that working in New York or no? No. Uh, no. Bad Baby? The bad Baby? No, no. Story? You bestie. playing that? You my motherfucking bestie. Yeah, that's bad baby. That's a bad baby. Yeah, yeah, that's bad baby. No, not at all. It works for me real well. Oh, you really? You like them yes. corny, corny records. Yo, man, I didn't say I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I liked it. I said it works for me well, right? Wait, where's Night Train? <laughs> oh, Night Train's over in the car. Where did he crawl to? Oh, look at that. He's crawling over, over there. Get him over here. Hey, can we have, we'll have him sit here in the uh, minority side. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, oh, brother. We drafted him. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. brother. By the way, uh, the live stream, the chat's going crazy because Bella's in here. By the way, they're claiming her yeah, girl, yeah, the, yeah. the girlfriend's here. Oh yeah, the girlfriend. Yeah. 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 Shout out to everybody in the live stream. By the way, wait, he can't sit higher than I. Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You don't want him on top of you. 
Hey, hey, hey. Uh, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know it's hard. Spicy. All right, let's. <laughs> I want. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about what were the songs that should have popped this year, this summer. That should have. That should have. That should have popped. popped. There was a lot of good. I Talking heads. Good this music. must be the place. Pull my Anything? Well, we go back to Whoa. Nicki Minaj. I got a I, song. I got a question though. There was a there's a song that's really big on the West Coast in Cali, right? Which is the mustard intro with One Take Jake, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's not hitting in New York at all, that's right? Yeah. No. I would say everything on mustard. It won't, album right? Won't. Won't. Speak hitting. your mind. Speak your mind, Playboy. It won't just because you have to understand like the LA culture to understand a One Take J. So that's only going to be a regional record. Yeah. At the end of the day. I think I think it could cross over just because of the yeah. sample. It's a shy sample. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. the record hits, but it's yeah, not. It's not, it's not a know, crossover. No. Like, like just no. just the way. It, it's a mustard record. Like Who's on it? Who's the, it's just one take. One take. take. Yeah. It's the intro to yeah. the. Uh, bodies that you're not shit, really playing Who unless did? it's a pop mustard record. You're yeah. not playing it. And one take. Jay had a regional record with Hello. Totally. Like yeah. I don't think a lot of people even know that shit. No. The sample is the fucking iPhone. Ringtone. And that's a prime time record. That's a prime time record in any room in LA. Yeah. That beat was hard. That beat was hard. No, the one take J really like you, you just need to play the intro and the first verse and the chorus and then that's it. Yeah. That is what everybody goes wild in the club for that, but they don't know the rest of the song. It's one of those like play thirty seconds and get out. Yeah. yeah. Last night uh, at, at Everyday People, Equal played a record I had never heard and it went off stupid. What was it? Uh, oh, Bop. 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 Oh, oh, bop. 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 I think that's a white thing, though. That's, that's like, why. It, it was so good. I'm going to try to break it like back in New York because it's, it's Do dope. It. But it's, it's really dope. But it's a West Coast thing, but it's time to take them both coasts. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but those, I don't I don't think those records are going to make it out of the It'll West never work yeah. in New York. Because, yeah. like, yo, like, Big Bang, Big Bang barely works. not going to happen out Big there. Bang barely works in New York, right? Wow. It kind of works, See, but you just... You, you got to get out of it around. Uh, around before, <laughs> yeah, you got to get out of it soon. But it, it you works. Can, you can't front though on a hip hop on a hip hop level in New York. It's a little bit limited with the catalog of music that you guys can play, right? With new hip hop, I feel like new hip hop out here is a trend in in mm -hmm. L. A. and Cali. Mm -hmm. I feel like remember with Rock, we were talking about this. It's literally a trend for like dorky motherfuckers to come up to you and request like the new Rody Rich song just to. Just Roddy. to do it. Roddy. That's like the cool Roddy. thing. To come up to you and be like, yo, can you play Roddy Rich? Roddy Rich, yeah. But I think LA's more open to all types of hip hop as opposed to New York might be like more of I just think the people, South. But I think LA and, listens and to East more Coast. hip hop too. There's like more yeah. hip hop on the radio. Like in New York we're still you might play like the top ten biggest hip hop records in one night, but the rest of your hip hop set is like, you know, classic party shit or ASAP Ferg work. Yeah. Like that's what people come out for. It's they pure, don't really it's like come pure out. water working in New, in New York. It's a good filler. Mm. Pure water, one hundred. You know, star, star it's tender. Pure water is a filler yeah. in L.A. too, though. Those yeah. are good fillers. What about Tatiana? That that leaked. Over? Tatiana's huge. Like the Cardi remix. Yeah. No, I don't even play the Cardi remix because yeah. because the song one. is not big enough to last beyond that weird intro hook, which I, I can never count the bars what's on the, it. What's the last like hip-hop song that came What's the last hip-hop song that it's came out that crossed over? Yeah, right there with you. <laughs> crossed over where? I don't, I don't I know. It's a both coast. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Are y'all playing Tatiana? Huh? I mean, you gotta remember, last summer, everybody, all we played was Drake. Well, yeah. Uh, wouldn't that be the song that crossed over, Money in the Grave, on both coasts? Yeah, probably. That's huge right. in New York, no? Well, you're cutting it out before you get to Ross, right? Yeah. I just let it play because I don't fucking But that, that song's pretty big in, in New York. <laughs> Not no, it's not very big at all. It's pretty big. It's in, big in, in Toronto, in the West Coast, right? <laughs> What's Toronto? It's pretty big. It's like one of the bigger records out here. No, yeah. Is it? I don't know. Is no one? No, no, no not at all. Money. I mean, in the it is for me, but my work is like very OVO'd out, so I have a skewed perspective. Oh, because you got a lot of OVO dudes over there. Yeah, they're all, OVO guys are always at my my gig. So okay, slight flex. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I work. I work in a restaurant. They made me wear a collared shirt, like some flex. Wait, you got to wear a collar shirt now? Yeah, I have to look nice. I'm the, you know, the center of attention. I mean, <laughs> you want to plug where you spend it at? No. Okay. I don't want you like you riffraff coming. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> no, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, um, 
Any uh, underrated any underrated tracks? Uh, like for me, it was Tory Lane's "Broke Leg." When I just I saw oh, the yeah, music we were just video talking about that, that yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the song came out, and it, and then Quavo's verse when that drops, and he's like, "What's up, though?" I'm like, "Why hasn't this blown up in the club?" I try it in L.A. and Miami. Tory does well in Miami, mm, a little bit in L.A., but I'm I just thought that song would. Be maybe the song yeah. of the summer when that yeah. came out and it made it crooked, crooked yeah, loves yeah. Tory Lanez so you're pushing that. all his yeah, buttons works. right now he loves yeah, I love Tory Lanez you always trying Dude. to sell me on some shitty Tory Lanez song <laughs> I feel like Sorry. uh but it had Quavo, I think Tyga like yeah. it was a collab the music video was girls twerking on a mountain of twerkers like I just thought that was I, part of I don't know are, are we really like watching videos summer? to see if we like the song I, I didn't even know there was a video to that song no I'm, I'm just well, saying just everyone's gonna videos. go home and watch the video yeah, now after this what, what about Megan the Stallion I don't think her Stone's body gonna work? watch it <laughs> <laughs> that was solid record yeah that, oh, that, that, that I play you know every night big old freak yeah. cash shit mm -hmm. and Simon Says yeah that's a given and then I think you can go a little bit deeper in the catalog late night but you know, I love Meg Thee Stallion, man. She did a lot for me this summer. Like, a <laughs> lot a of lot mileage. Of <laughs> Cash Shit has become one of her, her bigger records yeah. now, right? Cash yeah. Shit is probably the biggest one right now. Right, right now, now. Yeah. Big old freak is losing steam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everywhere else or just, like, in L.A.? Oh, uh, no, uh, in New York for me. Yeah, Megan Thee Stallion? Yeah. I have trouble with Big old Freak. I, I'll play it, like, in Long Beach, L.A., but it doesn't really, like, pop off like not not like as a primetime song i'm playing at the end of the but night. like yeah more like after one yeah. like i can get away with it but Even like if you play like one verse you can't it's I, I don't know it's not it's, yeah these are all like she doesn't, like she doesn't have that hit yet she needs that hit she doesn't have that she needs that hit yeah not bragging i don't know if this is actually bragging but i usually play the rooms that are like 60 percent female you know there, women yeah so that you plays totally a, that plays and i feel like you i don't know Please don't take this the wrong way. I feel like your crowd, especially in New York, your crowd's really tie is like educated and knows what's like happening in media and stuff like that. Well, so like they're on Meg Thee Stallion in a in like the brand of Meg Thee Stallion. In a cultural and like way. The cult or in a cultural yeah, right. way. It's not like just some you know, person in their car, like driving to work every day, they're not connecting to like the Meg Thee Stallion brand and all the stuff that's going on around her. So I feel like your crowd's like is like they're on their shit. They know what's happening. The everyday, everyday Rags. people crowd. Yeah, 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 totally. They know, like, they're reading. They're on. They're everywhere. Yeah, we actually have a, a saying about everyday people. It's not a reality. It's not like the real world. It's a bubble. It's a bubble. That's a fact. I know that. I, I admit it. I admit. Because songs that go off in your room in your party do not go off almost Seven anywhere Campbell, else. Campbell. Yeah. Can we talk? Is my biggest song. Of the night, every, oh, yeah, every day, every, but, that, but that that's something that he curated. Exactly, it's, it's yeah. not it's not like it wasn't an accident. It was on right. purpose. Yeah, it was like years of work, like yeah. years, so, years and years. Yeah, I mean, while it might be an insulated thing, everyone who's there knows what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I mean, you you were there yesterday. You've been kind of you've been stopping through whenever you can to everyday people. Yeah, and you're you're seeing it firsthand. It's, like it's my favorite party. Yeah, period. And I'm not even saying that because you're in the room. I. I say it out loud from the top from the tops of the mountains. It's a, it's it's one of the best. He, wa he basically wants you. He wants to spend one day. <laughs> we already talked about. <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Talk, we already talk about. Where, where it. is that happening? It. No, yes. but, but book even, book. even even with even without that, even without that, because people go there. Like I said, they go there knowing what's going on, and it's it's uninhibited, genuine fun, and that doesn't really exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, even if you were playing all of these songs that you guys mentioned that I've never heard of in my fucking life. Um, it, it would, and and the same thing was going on. I would still have the same reaction to it. Now it yeah. helps that you play Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? Right. But uh, it's just it's just everyone's there to have fun. No one's bullshitting on their phone or like Instagramming or whatever it is. That and that's why it's special. That's why it's unique. Appreciate to everyday you, people. I like that shit. I like that shit. Is there anything, guys, that you guys have been playing in the club? Now that we got all these club DJs in the room, I love it. We have. Uh, Different sexes, different races, all types of places. We got everyone in the room. I want to know what you guys think I'm missing in the club right now. Is it getting redundant? Is There's it getting two anything? Tory Lanez records that I play. Uh, one is Freaky. Freaky. Yes. You play that? Yeah, and then yeah. he's got another one. We Stay Lit. All of that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. That shit always hits. Yeah. Yeah. All fucking sound the same. Yeah. Ferris Wheel. No, the titles. 
Yes. I think it's, oh, it's called it? Ferris Wheel. It's called Ferris, Ferris Wheel. wheel. Oh, Ferris yeah, wheel yeah, with, um, I, don't, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I think all Tory Lanez records are just different speeds with the same fucking song. Yeah, exactly. But what? they're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they you give me, sorry, you I, me I, three, you I, know, are wild, bro. I'm saying all Tory Lanez no, until no, he's, no, he's, 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 I play all of them at yeah, different exactly. times of the night. I feel like Tory Lanez songs are exactly like Doritos. First and foremost. But it's kind of the same fucking song. Even this shit, the formula. No, he's got the formula. He's got a template that he starts with. Dude, I honestly think think Tory Lanez is making some of the better club music, but no one's listening to it. Bro, I was no, totally sleeping on Tory Lanez until we did Everyday People Toronto. And obviously it was Toronto, so yeah. home court advantage. Every time the local DJs dropped Tory Lanez, the room went off. Yeah. But I was like, this is a really good record. Like, yeah. it's a power, power fillers. Mm -hmm. you know Dude, I mean? Broken Leg should have been a smash this yes. summer, yo. Yeah. It's fucking huge. That record should have been a smash. I, I slept on Kika for a while. I was like, yo, that's a rap. No one wants to hear 6 9 or that. Don't play I heard that shit in the club. Well, just don't play his verse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, that in yeah. LA anymore though. Like Kika, that shit. Like, that shit still hits. In LA. Yeah, but that. But you can still play Tory Lanez that Kika. I feel like you know what I'm saying. No, Tory Lanez just he, he, he lacks. He lacks, so he lacks the star power. You know what I mean? He does. He has no. He has no star, star power. power. But he has those all records good are good. They're well written. They're good songs. He has. Uh, I don't even know what he looks like. He has no like. <laughs> he looks like D Miles. I do think it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a Toronto he just Miami thing because yeah. he is <laughs> strong in Toronto. He's strong in Miami, and then I try him in LA, and he's kind of strong in LA, but clearly not so much New York or Vegas. Right. My, it's not popping in New York. Hold on. Which one? It's not. Dory isn't oh, popping. No, he works for me. I feel like Ferris Wheel is popping. No, no yeah. Tory yeah. Lanez. Power Ferris Wheel. Freaky. Doesn't Tory Lanez have have a, a residency at uh, Jewel? At Jewel, right? Jewel, no, sells, one oak. I thought one, one oak, oak, right? No, no, I one think jewel. he's a jewel now. Jewel. He sells tickets there, man. But he like, shows he's up like at, one of their bigger people. But he shows up at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> oh, for real? Dead ass. <laughs> I don't know that is. is that good or bad? For the club? Dude, I've been pushing Tory like all summer really hard, too. and it's like, it's been a fight, like, playing Tory Joyce. And yeah. I, I think all those are good that you mentioned. Oh, what do you call it? You, I wanted to kind of switch over to, like, another genre. I wanted to talk about... I don't know, like, I've been going out to the clubs. I love hip hop. You know, I love open format. I love old school. I know 2000s has had, like, a resurgence. You know what I mean? We're hearing a lot of, like, 2000 records in the clubs, even being sampled. My type, Petey Pablo, right? right. Twerk, uh, Chopper. Lil, Lil Wayne, Uproar. Uproar. I mean, Play. everything Saweetie does, yeah. basically. Is Icy Girl, for, right? Yeah. Kia, uh, Kaya, whatever the fuck. I mean, we're seeing a resurgence in 2000s. Are we going to get house back into the clubs, you guys think? Are we going to get house music? Not necessarily EDM. I'm talking like house music. Like like, like the loud luxury type of house music? I'm talking like house house music. Because kind of I like what like you guys do with Dance Dance happening. Dance a little bit, What's right? A uh. <laughs> What's a loud luxury? Loud luxury is like, it's the closest thing they have to like a stardust of this kind of era. Like it's got a vocal, it's like vibey, and it's aggressive enough to be good in the club, but it's not too aggressive to be EDM. Yeah. Like I'm telling you right now from a guy who deals with house music stuff all the time, house is on some techno and tech house thing. If you go yeah. anywhere, yeah, yeah, internationally, yeah. anything, they've gone way back into just tech and tech house stuff. I'd be really, really surprised if it came back on some real pop stuff. I, that honestly, culture is actually getting bigger now. Yeah. Just What'd anybody you say? in tech house, like deep house, tech house, yeah, UK huge. bass house type of stuff. Yeah. Huge. Like those tracks really? are like yeah. massive. Yeah, yeah. It's Can you name like, a couple or like? What? I mean, we're talking like um, Chris Lake. He Fisher, and he, like, if, well, Medusa. Chris Lake is Fisher. Yeah, Chris Lake wrote that right. right. He wrote all those records, his whole album. So I mean, we're talking about like old school. I mean, Chris Lake made a hard electro back in the day. Mm -hmm. well, well, and now he's just an amazing producer. But now he's making that like techno, like tech, kind of they call it funky techno. But it's just, just is techno. It's just you know happy techno. Loud Luxury is the group, but what's their record that's a hit? Is it this? Is this this Martin Garrick remix? Is that the one? Scared to be lonely. Is that their hit? No. No, what's the name? Body. 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 Okay, I'll have to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see like a resurgence coming for house or no? Well, Not I think there, there's ways to to flip it because of the dembo, like that up-tempo reggaeton. Yeah. That's really like working in the New York clubs. It's can, can you name some of the dembo songs? That like, I, can, I don't know. Pomposo. Pomposo. Like, you know, that's all the Spanish I Is know. that like the... Yeah, exactly. That's one of them. All right. So that's, okay. that's, no, that's, that's like up-tempo dembo. I thought Dembo is that's more Dembo. Like, that's the Dominican. Dembo. Yeah. That's Dominican. That's Puerto Rican Puerto Dembo. But I thought that was more like a, like Brazilian. Uh, but that's Baila Funk. Yeah, Baila Funk. Baila, Baila Funk. It's a bit faster. One thirty. I follow all that. That's not like the same. So that that record is it's uh, is Dembo. It's yeah, I, I think it's Dominican. Dembo is crazy. If you see a bunch of Dominican party where they play Dembo, 
Like I, I play this thing called uh, the Aventura Dance Cruise. Yeah, yeah. The Aventura Latin Dance Cruise. Water. And they have me as the only guy who does not play any kind of Latin music on the boat. Right. Like I do the Vegas high energy thing, which basically means hip hop and old school stuff. Yeah. I play an old school party. But I go to the parties and I just hear like two hours of Dembo and just people are going like batshit. That's crazy. Like crazy. Like, like twerking out of their minds, grinding on each other. They do that. What is that thing where they bounce and be beating the crap out of girls? What is it? The daggering? Daggering, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what is it? They don't actually beat the crap out of girls. They don't actually beat the crap out of girls. It's crazy. I just see it. Like, imagine, it's always like, it's always like, like, a, 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 like a girl is a little more stout and the skinniest dude in the room. Yeah, and, yeah. And he's Mounter. flipping around her like yeah. she's a stripper pole. Yeah, yeah, like that's just, just funny. jumping up and down. It's we mad. we warned you your are summer's crazy. over, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I watch those all day. Yeah. Um, Yo, but it's like crazy. Hey, like it's right. actually, I can't believe the skill level of some of these dudes. Little like Little they're just whipping around. Like, like, what is that thing on the horse and gymnastics where they do the thing around the horse and gymnastics? With the with the yeah yeah, thing. that's kind of how it is. Except on, on, on a girl, horse? except on a girl's back. Yeah. Am yeah, I am I like amazing. exaggerating? Is no, no, I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm not exaggerating. It's it's right? I think Full they accuracy. bring out ladders sometimes, and it looks like a little Dude, wrestling wild. situation. Is but the guy jump like, off a tree. Honestly, do you guys do that? Like <laughs> yeah. Rock, you're working. You you've been working on a ton of remixes and house remixes and disco oh, stuff. Yeah. Is there like a res, is there a resurgence? Is there something that you see coming and coming uh, through that's gonna I mean, leak? Because I, I would really love to start playing something in the 120s to 130s. You can go stop. for it. Nobody I would like some you. new shit. I'm saying Lizzo has a song that sounds like Chromia. You play that. <laughs> Yo, one sec. We have a a legend in the live chat, which is DJ Jazzy Jeff. Just stepped into the live. Oh, chat. Hey, what up, Jazzy yeah. Jeff? He said, "What up, MoMA?" It's Specifically, Jeff. Year, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, continue the combo. Shout out to Jazzy Sorry, Jeff. Man. Nah, I'm Man. saying, uh, what do you call it? I was gonna say on I'm that on right the house now. tip. Yeah, Jeff shouted me well, out. In the, uh, in yeah, the, you're 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 well, heavy in the EDM scene. Yeah, yeah, I'm more in that scene I need a better now. Chair. Yeah, and I've definitely yeah. noticed a big resurgence of house music in the electronic music scene. Um, like artists that you wouldn't think are popping or like killing it, getting big billings, like great slots on festivals and stuff. So. You see house that coming back a little bit. Right? Oh, in a big, a huge way. In you the you were, you scene. were playing house records before. EDM became a thing. Of course. Okay, so why can't that continue? No, I, I do. Of course it's going to continue. But I just think, you know, everything comes in waves, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I feel like, you know, hip-hop is, is a wave that came through. EDM was a wave that was kind of like what? It was going down towards what? 2000... 15? Around the, yeah. Yeah. 14. 14, 15. a broad term, mm -hmm. right? EDM. It is so broad right now, right? There's like a hundred genres within that. But I, mean, I, I just think like <laughs> all the records from like the hip hop and the pop genres, they're kind of dictated by the audience, by what's going on in the culture. If you're going to play house in commercial clubs, you have to find those records. There are records that work. You know, like I have a Magdalena remix. Um, I forgot by whom, but no matter what room I drop it in, it's 123 BPM. It goes off, right? Yeah. yeah. And you can ride it into other shit like... Um, I think Major Lazer's dropping this new record with J Balvin or who's the other big yeah, reggaeton artist? Indian flute sample. Yeah. With, with the Indian Bad flute sample. Bunny? And that sounds like almost like classic house. Mm -hmm. So I think that set, you could do it and it can last 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, but you got to figure it out and you really got to trust those records. You know what I, I mean? I mean, to, to use the example of Stardust, I don't think that that was like a popular record, but when you would play it in the club, in the open format club, it would work. And that was something that if you weren't in the house scene, you might not, you might not be immediately knowing about it. But when you would play it in a open format nightclub or whatever it was, it it still worked. Yeah. So I think yeah. I think to Momo's point, you just have to find the records and trust the records. And trust like, the records. This is a good record. And let you got to trust that this. at some point in the night, it could be two thirty, three fifteen. People actually want to dance, like they want to shake a leg. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They just want to exercise for like 10, 15 minutes, and then you can bring them back to the regular program. But you just have to figure out when that time is the right time to do it. And you can also, if you want to do that, you can pepper those records. Like you find your two, three things that you're like, oh, I'm into this, I'm into that. And like work them around an I Follow Rivers or something like that that you know is going to work. Or like whatever, like a house thing that always is kind of like, you know, that always goes. Yeah. And then you say like, oh, I like this, I like that, I'll pepper it. And then then if, if I lose them, I'll run back to this. You just have to know how to 
know where you're going. You gotta be, if you're thinking three, four songs ahead, you can play a couple of those things, try them out, see what works, and like and you, you can always bring strategy. it back. You gotta be, I, yeah, exit yeah. strategy. I think it's exactly. funny though, it's like you said, I follow Gosh. Rivers, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, not, that's a it's a it's a white girl record. Like, don't, no, no, don't get it twisted. It's a huge record in Miami. Like I feel like that is like uh, I don't know, like that's a huge fucking house has house record in Miami. It's like specifically whenever I'm in Miami playing. That shit like goes the fuck over. Yeah, it goes. The but fuck it doesn't over. go over, like so. Like I think EDM or like an uptempo house, uh, house set, it's really different in the cities that you're in. So like Miami is a totally different house set oh, yeah. to like fucking. It's probably closer to Vegas a little bit more than LA or New York. But I feel like, in, even even in Vegas, it's like an EDM set in an open format club oh. is literally just a soundtrack. And we've talked about this to cryo and confetti yeah like you know what when I mean? in the at the tail end of the 2000s or whatever like as edm was coming like the difference between a new york house set and like a vegas house that was crazy like i would go see somebody in vegas and they wouldn't play a single dance like a single house song that i would play in new york yeah like it was just like that crazy shit it was breakdowns and buildups. Yeah, where in New York at the time it was more like a little more melodic and much more European influenced. Mm -hmm. It uh, crept over later. Yeah, over but there. like LA has always had that thing. Like even in the rave scene days, the sound was different. It was just like it's always been kind of like louder and aggressive here with that stuff. JCO, you're like in the festival. You're in e you're you're like in the heart of EDM festivals and doing all of that shit. Mm -hmm. Is it like where are you and where are you? What are you playing? Are you specific to a BPM? Are you, are you making your own trap? edits? I make my own music. Yeah. more yeah. importantly, but my set my sets now are predominantly like my music stuff that I put out on on my label and just edits of current dope shit. But like I bounce around a lot because I do come from this world of fucking real DJ shit. So I jump tempos throughout my whole set, touch almost almost every tempo. Throughout. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, my my sets are basically. You know, trap, dubstep, heavy, but everything has hip hop influence with vocals and chops over it, and just. But I, but I have moments of super melodic, pretty shit to just like fucking face melting type, type music. So it's like I try and spread the board, especially in that field. Not many other DJs have that skill set of that I do to like jump around that comfortably. Okay. Big yourself so my up. sets like that, are yeah. like a lot different. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of these other cats are just like so mechanical with their sets and it's just like one speed the whole time. And I just, I'd be too fucking bored, you know? So, yeah. yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I jump around a lot, a lot of, some well, other you're, DJs you're, do. You're, you're like big room shit. You're doing, you're playing big room shit that has to have the, the Yeah, the super high energy. Yeah. The energy is like super high the whole time. There's but, not many lows. But there's not much like substance, not substance. There's not much uh, like I guess there's not much melody in it, right? After in a, while, in a lot of things, you does know. it get? It does it? I don't know. Sometimes it does like get repetitive. So it does kill me. Even even like my managers have come to me like, yo, you just gotta play fucking build ups and drops. Like don't be playing that melodic. I'm like motherfuckers need to have some sort of feeling throughout the set, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, like a lot of these like rave kids, they just want to go so fucking hard the whole time. Pause. Like yeah. <laughs> I sure. Yeah, you said it. Sure. You said it. <laughs> nah, no, but don't. No, nah, it's true. Sometimes when I do like uh, when I do a big room house set, yeah. a big room EDM set. Yeah. Remember back in the day when we used to do rock sets? We used to do like the typical. I mean, used to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we still now, used now, to. Now, now you've offended Graham. Now Graham's yeah. leaving. Now he's leaving. Now I'm out. All right. Yo, big no, shout to Graham. Real. Graham Funky. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Yeah. But no, let me clarify. I'm not leaving because the conversation sucks. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got business to attend to. Oh, but uh, no, nah, like a lot of like in that the electronic world, like a lot of the sets, like I could go eight records without playing a song that has like a strong lead vocal. It's just crazy build ups and drops, and yeah. the kids are going fucking ape shit, you know. And they know the music. Yeah. And he, but the beautiful thing about that shit is they don't have to know the music. Like I could play some brand new shit that no one's ever heard, but if the energy level's there, like yeah, yeah. they're going off to it. That's like the difference of having a pepper to a club where people are really need to be guided to where these kids are just like I'm here to have the fucking time of my life. Yeah, I'm you not know? gonna I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, who stays on top of like new EDM shit? Yeah. 
You do, right? Um, y yeah, but the I do. they have their like. EDM is in your blood, man. You they're was like an LMFAO, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking started EDM. Let's get into it. 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 The party rocker. the time. The party rocker. I play a little bit of I play like. Where's Red Fruit? Tell Red Fruit to come in. Come out. Where's Red Fruit? Is Red Fruit here? No? No, he's not. Come on. He didn't get the invite. So I put his name on the invite list. <laughs> but also, you can't <laughs> generalize. I, I would love for this group to understand we can't just say EDM music as one thing. Because there's so, so many different yeah. genres. Trap EDM. What is it? I mean, there's... We'll there's, be here for an Break hour. down the genres. No, I mean, I, I can't even get to it all. But no, I mean, like... Nah, come on. It's, it's, it's just within, within trap right. music, there's like, you know, future bass. There's like... Future bass. Yeah. yeah. Future bass is like melodic trap. That's a Nicki Minaj record, right? Super yeah, super 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 you know, there's like within dubstep there's like rhythm there's like all different types of styles of dubstep okay. within the house music there's you know bass house there's funky house there's uk house there's Disco. you know within every I genre could, i could like, say the same thing about hip-hop and i'm not disagreeing but yeah. you're over here saying EDM music is like yeah but people said genres. if someone said open format i mean open formats i wouldn't get insulted no, no i'm not i'm not insulted i'm not insulting <laughs> more importantly <laughs> i don't feel insulted, insulted. I'm just, it's just tough to generalize. No, 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 we're not, I'm not trying to pigeonhole you nah. into anything. Well, what were you going to say nah. about playing rock records? Oh, I, w I said sometimes when I do an EDM set, I feel like I'm doing an old rock set because I'm playing just all the songs that you it's like guns and older roses. EDM. Like the shit that they need. I'm saying the old EDM, so there is no new EDM, big EDM songs. So I have to play old EDM songs that people know, and it seems like yeah. I'm doing a throwback for old people who want the nostalgia of 2000. I feel that on the mainstream. 2005, 2012. Yeah. So I'm doing like a rock set for these people. I get that. You like know what I mean? Because I rarely. Like yeah, like, yeah like, I, like I got to do all that. And if I play any new house records, like it just wouldn't work. It's, it would yeah. just, but that's yeah. I get what you're saying. Room. Yeah. You're not yeah. a dance music group. Because, like, when I, like, I mainly do more, like, shows and stuff now, but I still do club gigs here and then. But I find myself, when I do those gigs, digging in the archives for the yeah for this type of shit you're like, talking about. Like, you know about. you're going to still play Econo Pop, right? Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just shit still goes it, off. Yeah, it definitely goes off. I may or in may the not club, go I'll, there, but, yeah, that's what you're playing but I, I get what you're saying. That's what but, like, know. but, like, Animal, well, like, Animal. Oh, huh? You can still drop Animal and it'll still work. Yeah. Like if, if I if I'm in a Vegas club and I go into that for like yeah. if I go in for five or ten minutes, like I'll do like, something in the animal and the sweet dreams into something else. You know what I mean? Like it all still works. Yeah, yeah. Cricket, like, but what you're like saying is like an open format set is just not. There's not a lot of up tempo records that are new. You're kind of like bringing back a lot of records. Like he was he was mentioning he's like all right we could bring Meg Dillon oh hey we we got that right and then there's like just like there's a handful of well, songs that you can put in there. But it's not right? like what it used to be. And so what you're saying with the rock records is like, dude, I I know a lot of dudes that are still playing uh, Rihanna, I found love right. They're yeah. still playing that. That's still like yeah. They're, they're still off. playing that, right, but, but they're off. taking those huh? tracks. But that's, like, but that's like a pop record. That's a classic but, yeah, but pop record. Is yeah, pop yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It just reminds me of like an old rock set. Like, oh, this is like you know, it's like, like playing well, Black and Black. Yeah, yeah, we found no, no, love's like, a wedding record. This, this is like we an found love is like a modern day. Show me love, Robin S. You know, it's gonna be around. They're still making remixes of Show Me Love after all these years. We need new ones. That's why. So, so when I do. My clubs that are that I, where I can play EDM yeah. stuff or stuff like that, I'm using the drop is a newer EDM song, but the buildup has like, I don't know, like Jonas Brothers or or Rihanna on top of it. So, so, <laughs> yeah, make, uh, get get down DJ City. <laughs> but uh, but I'm just saying like like the Icona Pop, you'll have the Icona Pop in the buildup, and then the drop is is a newer EDM song. Yeah. The yeah. people don't. Uh -huh. The people yeah. like the reaction of, or people react to the drop because it's a drop, yeah. but they don't know what the drop is. Right. That's the energy I get from the people. But that's, that's like, the beauty that's of not that new shit, music, though. though. That's just like flipping other shit. Right. The like, drop, the drop can be new, but yeah. it's the same same song. It's the same song. Yeah. People are like yeah, making new remixes form. of the Kano well Pop. A, it might as well be a Khaled yeah. record. Yeah. Just the drop change. Go ahead. Keep the sound relevant. So it's the same songs, but it's different like versions of the. But there's no new. There's no new songs popping off. Like, yeah, yeah. No, but you, Fisher, but you, you do play it, Fisher Lee Fisher. in the club for sure. You say Fisher, but you do, yeah. you do like an all. Fisher's definitely crossing over. Yeah. Absolutely crossing over. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you do an all house like night, all house day party, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was trying to think like, I don't like 
playing three hours of house or two hours of house, two to three hours of house. It's, it's the best. It's the best. I mean, for me, it's it's different because obviously I don't get booked to do stuff like that. Yeah. So if I like hit up the homies that I know do parties like that, I know I can get away with. You know, it's it's and it's a different party too. It's a different culture. It's a different group of people. So yeah, I that that's I I love doing it. But what are some of the bigger records that you're well, playing? I, in there? I have a question yeah. on that Fisher record. How much of that Fisher record is the record, and how much of it is? his like personal branding and just being out there selling it and like connecting with fans and this and that i think the hype is i feel like is it the record, record or is it but i feel like it was overhyped that's big overhype on so you one. think a lot of it's him people Michael. like him. i don't think it's necessarily him it's just how hard it was pushed how in your face it was for that type of record so pay everyone launched i guess so like whatever why do you give stone a mic never got it done stone no, no, I'm just seeing how long the delay is. He was just, he was just. Hey yo, I feel you though. Hey yo, it's about thirty. It's about thirty-two seconds now. Thirty-two seconds. It's a while. Yeah, it's a while. Shout out everybody in the live stream. Hey yo. hey yo, since we got this little break, we we have a DJ City giveaway. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, <laughs> Styles look at me like that. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson remix. <laughs> I should have done this a lot earlier. I'm texting you trivia, trivia. <laughs> yeah, I know, trivia. So we got, wait, we're going to, what are we going to do? So we're going to ask a question. Read, read the text. And Here's we're going to. This would never happen on the Mickey D show, by the way. Huh? <laughs> what, this, <laughs> this, this trivia? No, the delays. The, delays. Oh, it's oh, the lack delay. of organization on your It's behalf. only 10 minutes long, that's why. That's why. It's just so still. Yeah, what are yeah, you yeah. talking about? <laughs> you guys are at the wheel. If we're we just were in running the it, We were running our show. You, know? you guys already <laughs> lost a co-host. Where'd he go? <laughs> We're down a black guy. I was in town. Oh no, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. All right. So wait, we're gonna give away. Uh, are we giving away what? We're just spreading the shit out. I mean, yeah. There's a couple t-shirts. Okay. We got a couple uh, hats. From DJ some DJ City. City hats. Some vinyl. John Rebenda. Shout out to John Rebenda in Japan. Shout out to DJ Marvel. Yeah, Shout Marvel. Out to DJ Marvel. Shout out to DJ Marvel. The homie Depot. Blue face baby. Blue face baby. And they hit him with a cease and desist. <laughs> they did. Yo, so those chill, are chill, items mama, right mama, now. Mama, so those mama. are free. That's a badge of honor when they hit you yeah. with a cease and desist. Genre bender. Uh, slip mat. We got DJ, DJ City. Survival. Uh, is that, is that a double or one? Exclusive joint. That's two. two. Okay. So you get two vinyls. We ain't going to leave you where's hanging. That, where's that <laughs> LMFAO <laughs> merch? Yo, where's that LMFAO merch at, Danger Zone? That's what the live stream's asking. Uh, it's in 2015. Where, where's your pants at? You're going to sign and give away. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember where what is I the saw trivia you question? and the whole crew getting huh? in a van What is the trivia question? We go with this you. Or no? Huh? We, we go with you. Van no, no, no. No, no, no. But me and Lavelle were getting out of a car yeah. right in front well, of you. Well, Anthony's checking up, too. And your whole crew was getting... My man had his TV set right next to him, and you guys were all good. Do you remember that? It was in San Diego? No. Miami? Some other city I know. It was in Miami? And I was, I was like, yo, what up? And you turn around like straight, like zombie face. <laughs> I was like, yo, are you guys all right? And, and I don't drink. And that's what I'm saying. And I was like, I was like what happened? I, I go, my first question was, you wear these clothes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I thought this was a costume. He's like, no, no, nah. man. Every day. Life. I wear it every day. This, yeah. is, this is our life. I'm like... Yeah. A direct deposit that was hitting. like that blew my mind. Me and Lavelle just mm -hmm. talked about that for like twelve weeks straight. <laughs> so yeah. All right, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Uh, I was gonna ask you that. Stuff. Oh, no, that mean, LMFAO mean, memory yeah, lane. Yeah, memory oh, lane yeah. segment. <laughs> the good old days. Uh, let's do this trivia question. Let's do the fashion trivia. You want to do the fashion trivia? All right. So whoever can, whoever can answer this question the via fastest on the live stream. On the live stream. Yeah. Perfect. So whoever's going to read that shit. I got seconds. it. I got it. All right. So uh, who did fashion carry record crates for? Yes. And it's a pretty well-respected, renowned DJ. Shush. Give it away quick. It. No, you can't. You can't participate. It's for, it's for the viewers. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying to stone. So when you get a winner, just let me know. How long is this delay, though? About 30 30 seconds. 32 seconds. All right. So it's going to take so, a while. That's the second question. So let it marinate. <laughs> no, we'll... Oh, we already got it. We already got it. Someone got it? Yeah. Who got Christopher it? Christopher Delgado. All right, can you screenshot that? Yeah. All right. He Christopher Delgado? Right? Delgado. Yeah, he got it right. What was the right answer? Z Trip. Ah, there so you go. Quirk. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just assuming? <laughs> you want to do another one? Just to split the, the, the yeah. gifts apart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Split yeah. it. Let's, let's do yours. 
Uh, who was who was uh, Crooked's DJ while he was rapping? Who was his tour DJ? No one's gonna know this. <laughs> No one's gonna know. I don't even think Momo knows he's looking. Wait, at can we play? Can we play? Was that on the podcast? It was on can the podcast. Can we play your demo yeah. tape? Or is that is 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 uh, ASCAP gonna come no, after us? Yeah, Spotify is no. not gonna allow it. No, you can go on SoundCloud. <laughs> it's on there. It'll be on. Beat It'll be on BeatSource. I got it. I'll put it on BeatSource if you want. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, that's good. Oh, we have the answer already. <laughs> Boogie Blind. Yes. Oh, okay, there you go. I knew that. Oh. Who's the winner? Michael of that? Aldon. I'm a screenshot. Okay. Might be able to get through all these. Right you know now. what, man? Shout to that dude for actually listening to one of our episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I thought it was Boogie Brother Blind that answered the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm like, always. Yo, I'm a, everybody know the answer. Like, there's like uh, 20. Like, like just. Boogie I'm, Blind, I'm always Boogie shocked Blind. that people listen to the road podcast. <laughs> I think people were shocked to it. find out you were rapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. All right. Um. I actually want to talk about something that uh, came into the, the Twitter feed uh, and then that I noticed it, you know, uh, I don't want to put them on blast, but uh, I, and I've been talking to you about this. I've been talking to a bunch of DJs all the time, Rock, Ross One, and it's, it's been about the declining uh, DJ rates. And I, I think it's, New York has been hit really hard with like some declining DJ rates. <laughs> Yeah, but you got to understand, like, this bottle shit's not popping out there. It's a fucking wrap. They're making money, though. A couple little clubs, but it's not cool. Like, bottles are not fucking cool. And I want to talk about that because I see kind of... Millennials a, don't fucking care about no, showing don't. people they're spending money. It's over. It's right. a fucking wrap. The concept of the bottle service club is, it's is dying. It's done. It's fucking done. So There'll be a few little ones We're here starting to see... Well, New York, we, we, we what, in the past how many years have we started to see a, a major decline in DJ rates? I, I can't speak on it exactly, but... It's pretty bad. It's bad, but you got to also it's remember... Bad. No, no, but you got to admit that it's bad when they're... It's major fucking. It's a we're, and it's not these small clubs. It's major fucking clubs giving four hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't to a I, DJ for the whole night. Wh yeah. While the the decline of bottle service might contribute to that, I think it's more the operators just not giving a fuck because like now the, the, when the DJ used to be the uh, in the forefront, like you you'd go to a nightclub and the DJ was probably the most important person in the room, other than the guy who got the ice for the bartenders. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, now that's not the case. Now it's just like, let's just check the box. We need a guy playing fucking music. Right. And whether, whether, whether you want to go for 200 bucks or not, it doesn't matter because he'll go for 200 bucks. Yeah, if he doesn't, he'll go for like, 200 bucks. This is what I said to this thing the other day. Like we forget that this is an industry that has been decimated by technology. We are like, uh, factory workers and they've brought in robots, but instead of bringing in robots, Technology made it much easier to do and it's not a good job, but a passable job when they put the fucking lines on Serato and you added a visual component to the audio to mixing the audio when you could see it and hear it at the same time. It doesn't become twice as easy It becomes 10 times as fucking easy to do. Mm -hmm. Right. So now it's easier to do. And now it takes what, a couple hours. Now it's even faster. But back then it takes six hours to transfer a hard drive. So. This is an industry where it was really the fucking barrier for entry was fucking high and technology's brought it down here. So what does it become? It becomes about the brand of the like, who, who are we going to hire? If everyone's kind of like good enough, who are we going to hire? So it's Serato's fault. I, I think I think part of the problem is, though, <laughs> is that good enough is now acceptable where exceptional was was the standard. Yeah. Even even when Serato first came around and, and everyone started becoming a DJ just because you had a fucking laptop and internet, there was you still had to be good. But now and it's marketing value. Now yeah, it's, it's now it's value. good enough is fine. Will you take this two hundred dollars to play my spot? What were the rates before bottle service in New York? If it was a oh, major club like five hundred, a thousand, no, a thousand yeah. for like yeah. that size club, yeah, borderline a thousand to maybe twelve hundred. Depending for, on what, for what size club in New York? I mean, I don't want to say names. But like you know, it's like clubs that don't exist anymore, right? Like show. No, well, like, yeah, I mean, oh, what, show, yeah. whatever the biggest clubs are in New York <laughs> right now, there's major clubs in New York that 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 are actual like high energy big clubs. Yeah. They're like those DJs are getting four hundred to maybe six hundred a night. Now, yeah, yeah, and, they would have gotten a G in a thousand. Yeah, a but G the, to some of some of that is the operators in New York. Yeah, and that's their business model. Yeah, because their business model is please. They have to please like a few tables, mm -hmm. and it's not hard to please a few tables. You just like they tell you what they want. Right. 
but pleasing everyone is not their business model. So you don't need someone to do that job of pleasing everyone. But I've been seeing like a lot of dudes in New York struggling. It's just a like, wrap. It's fucking over, man. It's like but also not like cool. N- New York, Manhattan specifically, is like they're just developing residential right now. And um, the liquor board, they're only giving out 2 a.m. licenses. So unless mm-hmm. you have an existing 4 a.m., you're not getting a, a 4 a.m. renewed. You're getting a 2 a.m. Uh, the cops are fucking with everyone. Literally, the only clubs you got left is up and down. Marquee. Marquee, Marquee One Oak Avenue, and La Souk. Le Souk, believe it or not, is still rocking. I'll say this, even in California, like liquor license, they don't give out full liquor license anymore to clubs either. You have to do food. Yeah. It's a 50-50 or forget it. Well, that's mm-hmm. So SB a lot of clubs get past that. that. Um, when they file their permits, they, they show seating like a dining area. They have right, a kitchen. Right. They have to have yeah. a kitchen. You got to have they, a kitchen. And I can say it's because I'm in this business. Cherries, <laughs> strawberries, all that stuff. A lot of them buy, they literally buy bulk and they just give it away to right. say that they have food bills. Because the ABC will come in and take that license if it's not close. Wow. So so Manhattan has been completely neutered. They try to move everything to um, a White Avenue in, in Williamsburg, where they developed all the big EDM I heard clubs. about that, yeah. And they had Output, Baboten, um, you know, Brooklyn Bowl. And actually, if you go out there, there's a lot more clubs that are popping than in Manhattan. Yeah, what there's about mad clubs in Bushwick and stuff now. And yeah. the, it's different. They're not, look, they don't need ever play everything DJs. It's like... It's a lot of house and a lot of techno is big and like I mean New York's become very kind of like middle class and upper middle class. Right, the people will pay thirty to forty dollars. Yeah, to go here. What techno is really big. Is this why a lot of DJs has, are moving? Is more dance floor focused than table service uh, focused. Slate on on in New York, Twenty First Street. Is that the old? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar. Yeah, but I I'm, just hear like a lot of DJs like playing there because it, they they focus on the dance floor as opposed to the bottles. And people dance. They don't. It's not just standing around being cool. But you said I'm, something really I'm important. That. I'm just not familiar. That even like I talk to promoters in New York right now, they can't get supermodels and models into the clubs because clubs ain't cool. Nah, it's not fucking cool. Like, like these, these popping bottles is so corny. These 18 year old, 20 year old like supermodels that would be in the clubs back in the day, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that would be all over in the nightclubs. They don't want to go to that shit. They're like, you, we you don't want to. You know where they're going? They got this whole like burner underworld yep. yeah. they do their own parties yeah. they book right. black coffee they book techno djs they charge yeah. people 60 to 80 dollars to get in mm. they rent out spaces it's like very diy um it's like pop-up shops for night like a nightclub yeah, yeah. 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 festivals bigger shows it's a bigger festival sorry my that's no, all right, man. I know you really like this oh, mic. No. <laughs> <laughs> bigger festivals, bigger shows, like that's what you see. Like these kids, like they'll go to EDC, like Korea, EDC, like they're going traveling over. Like they'll save their money. Like I'm not gonna go out and spend two thousand dollars on a bottle. I can fly somewhere and have a whole experience right. on that money. And that's why more festivals are actually coming to New York. Mm-hmm. What's the one on on Randall's Island um, that they've been doing? I want, I want to get, I want no, to get no. back. I want to get Electric, back to Electric Zoo. Zoo. Electric I want to get Zoo. back to this money thing that you were talking about. Though. Is it hitting mm-hmm. Cali? Is it hitting LA? Because it's hitting Vegas. We're yeah. seeing Butch that shit in Vegas. Uh, a pay pay cut in DJ. We're seeing DJ, DJ rates, rates going down going in down. Vegas. Yeah. 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 It was just like, okay, no, we're going to, you, you guys need to calm the yeah. fuck down with this. But, but I feel like a lot of night. DJs from New York is moving to L.A. Because they wasn't getting the money they wanted to get in New York. Yeah, y'all seen that L.A. DJs, like the guys that are here, like we New York motherfuckers taking over? I don't know about territory. taking over, but oh. a lot of guys. I mean, they're like invading here. your shit, you know, like, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> are, are there more clubs? For like right having the lowest pay out of the four big cities right. or yeah. five big cities. I feel like no, New York I, took over. I thought L.A. was notorious well, I, I for being the lowest L.A. was the lowest because. We till two. Yeah, the business hours. You know, it's not like Miami where they're selling bottles to like five in certain spots. But I don't know. I feel like people pay cover charges out here, right? No? Still bottles. And I think um, uh, I have seen DJ rates go down or become more competitive with more DJs coming to the market. But also because I see our pay being distributed to VIP hosts, promoters, uh, 
And I like some some parties that I DJ, they don't even put the DJ's name on the flyer anymore. And I've asked them why, and they said because we're not dependent upon the DJ, we're dependent upon our VIP yeah. hosts, our promoters selling bottles. Promoters. They're on retainer, they're getting yeah. commissions. Like they can make way more than the DJ now in LA. I think in Vegas, like Vegas as well in Miami. Mm. It sounds like Miami Vegas. promoters exactly are on like retainer Vegas. with yeah, the clubs. That's crazy. Yeah. We have seen throwing doing your throwing your own parties yeah. very successful. Right. I've have like a I get a little work in LA because I've made myself indispensable. These DJs in LA are so bad, <laughs> and nobody can do like so this is for real though. DJs are so bad out here no, he's that not lying. anybody that can do the job that I do <laughs> at my gig is off somewhere making better money. So I'm the only person they could find that like f that fits the w mold of what they want and that can like do the night. All I'm saying is I think it's gonna get worse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not, present I'm, company yeah, excluded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just say present company excluded? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got a question. I almost don't know how I want to reply right now. I'm gonna think about it first. I don't think I even know where he DJs. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But we can't. <laughs> no, I know no, where he does. I, he, he, he don't want to name like, it. He does a, a very. It's it's different than what. What y'all doing? What I'm gonna be doing soon? Uh, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, different wait. Than Like we're spots. not trying to burn no bridges, but yeah, yeah we get where. I mean, like I like yeah. I understand what you're saying because even it. even when oh, a sorry. like I'll, I'll put it like this, even when AM was alive, and I've had this talk with Mickey before, I thought a lot of LA DJs were trash, because they were trying to be like AM. They're trying to do this thing, and then I started going out to different cities, and hearing a lot of dope guys, especially in Vegas. Presto, Melody, Five, you, like those guys. And I would hear these guys like, yo, these guys are on another level. And then I go back and hear the L a lot of the LA dudes. I'm like, so far behind me because they're trying to sound like whatever AM's doing. But that's not all of them. I'll tell you exactly what the issue was. And, and it was, it happened back in 2005, 2006. All the dudes that were good from every market, mm -hmm got recruited to play in Vegas, in the Midwest, yeah, in yeah. Florida, wherever. Yeah. So there was a void that needed to get filled very quickly. So dudes uh, that were okay got pushed up real fast. Yeah. And they ma then they maintained their okayness because they had no reason to get better because they're doing the hot shit yeah. in LA, in New York, and, or whatever. So and, it's not exclusive to LA. Yeah. And I imagine that now that the, the bar is been reset super low where operators are just like we just want you to play what the fuck we need you to play and that's it dudes that shouldn't be playing in nightclubs <laughs> are now playing in the hot spots and they're, they're like well i don't have to get better because i'm doing the hot shit so obviously yeah. what i'm doing is right but so, think about it you guys you guys are pioneers to the first like kind of generation of djs that yeah. got the access to the technology right yeah for, and so yeah. the dj so the djs that are now shining today right night train funny story right 10 years ago he opened up in a in a side room yeah. for selling tickets at the same room that i quote unquote headline not a big gig not a big deal but like he's shining today and so like the people that paid attention to your generation that we all respect and we try to learn from are are far and few in between Right? Yeah, like, well, because I don't think anyone gives a fuck. Yeah, nobody cares. Well, no one cares about nobody what, cares what about no one anything. cares about what AM did, and he's by far the undisputed champ of all the shit that we're doing. Well, all I'm saying is uh, in the modern era. Yeah, but a lot of the same same peers Shout that you guys Jeff. had have stopped DJing. So, like, the guys that have come to learn today how to DJ and the guys that are getting those gigs, like, LA is a different scene from what it was in 2006 when we first started and who we were listening to. The parties were doper and the people were paying attention to what was being played. Today, all you got to do is learn how to use the fucking mic and press the Q well, point on an S9. If, you're, if, you're, if you want to be a filmmaker, yeah. are you just going to grab your iPhone and make a movie or are you going to research? Now, yes. Well, the problem yeah. yeah. yes. yeah. the problem. But the problem, the, problem is, the problem is today, now anybody could fucking upload whatever they do onto YouTube and if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, but you delete if you, it. But if you seriously want to be a filmmaker, you're going to go back and you're going to research. Of course. The, the 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 history of film. Yeah. If you're if you're if, if you're no, if you're if, but if you're serious about it. If you're that, that's the thing. A lot of a lot of DJs aren't serious about a lot of the newer guys. And you know why? Aren't serious about because they get they get pushed up the ranks too fast. But well, who's holding them accountable though? No. No one. That's what I'm saying. No so one. who needs wait, to wait, 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 wait. Even when I even when I say even when I say you're a chump for doing whatever you're doing, they're gonna be like, whatever, bro. Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. Where do you even work at? Let's let's let's. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> let's let's slow this down. Let's let's take it back a little because there's a lot of topics that we're talking about right now. But what, I, just in defense of the the younger D DJs coming up, is that a lot of these DJs? I mean, like yo, I've met a lot of DJs that are 22, 21. They've got really high expectations for themselves, and they don't realize that. I always tell, I always say this here: you're gonna be the best DJ that you're gonna be in your 30s. And they, they need to just learn that because they really, they see the DJs in their 30s. And they're like, I'm going to I'm gonna do that while I'm 23. But, uh, but I, it's going to happen I mean? faster. It's going to happen faster. You're wrong. It can't, it's, it can't, no, it is going to happen faster, but they got to give themselves the, we time. Had the, we had to collect it records. Can't, it can't we happen. had to like learn. The skills took longer to learn. All that stuff is coming much faster. So you, you but we also learned on the job. We also learned records. on the job. But too. that's the same thing you know? with music. Like music, the quality of music that's coming out isn't the same as the quality of the DJ. Like it's just whatever hits for the moment is not, what you're gonna get the check. Not for. to the kids though. You can't. You yeah, you can't. can't yeah, yeah, some I mean, kids not, gonna love that yeah. shit. It, it is what it it's is. It's just a different time. Yeah, it's always like that. But when we were kids, I'd be like, "This stuff's terrible. What are y'all listening to?" You know what I mean? But you listen to the entire record to know where the fuck your mix points were, or what was gonna work. Oh, yeah, I'm just talking about like old people. Old people right. are always, old people are always gonna be like, "What are you kids listening to?" You know? Yeah, that's like, always gonna happen. Some, sometimes I think I would sound like my dad. I'm like, "What is this?" Y you shit? do. Yeah, but ex but then I truly believe that the songs are bad. Yeah, but that's like it's so because like my not made for you. My pops yeah. could listen to a tribe called Crest, tribe called Quest record and be like, "All right, I, I can get behind this," but like I, if I play him Mo Bamba, he he's gonna think I'm 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 kidding. Well, yeah, who's because it's not a you skill can... thing; it's a feeling. It's the way it makes them mm. feel, and they might be on drugs, but it's the way that makes them feel. It's who's not the about youngest yo, DJ in here right hot. now? Who's the what? Who's the youngest DJ? Train, train, train. 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 Jesus. train. All right, let's give, let's give <laughs> him the mic. Yeah, so I'm, I'm 26, so 27 now. Yeah. 27 now. Yeah. Well, You're the youngest one in here. Like I mean, I, I didn't mean to be so like aggressive about that, but what it is, I just have a lot of experience, and no, that's, that's I get fine. I get a lot of different age groups at my work. And not many people can be like, oh, I see these sort of like bald 50-year-old guy, white guys. I'm going to hit them with a little George Benson, give me the night. And I see this table over here, this the young kids, and I'm going to get into a little like uh, this stuff later and the drug bar and all that stuff. Not like younger DJs cannot do that. It's would, like you they agree, cannot. would you agree? I disagree that, with that. Would you agree that, you're, that within your peer group there are more DJs that are not qualified than qualified given, given the company that you keep? I the, think everybody – around me is super qualified to do any party around you but around but me. as a whole but as not, a whole they're not in your I, age as, group. I, as a whole but they're not that's the thing it's like i'm in the middle i'm like a middle child of i see what the you did younger there. shut up of the younger <laughs> generation the 2022 <laughs> controller era yeah and the am era and jazzy era so i see the both sides of it and i understand it but at the same time, my era goes back, does the homework, can play George Benson, can play Mo Bamba, and please everybody, really. Can do no homework now. Zero homework. That, yeah, I mean. Beyond, like, what's popping right now, they don't give but, a fuck. But what are kids, like, though? What do you say? We say it again? What kids? I'm just saying kids, like, not necessarily, be like, f from fans to DJs, yeah. they don't give a fuck about the history of music. They care about what's Until it fucks out. up their money. Until they do that one gig and they realize, holy but shit, even beyond, like, the client the DJ, wants just this. Like the, your crowd yeah. that you're playing to. Yeah, they but don't the, give a fuck. But like, that kind of happens to a lot of DJs. Even when I was coming up, I yeah. would do rooms that I was. Look, promoters be like, you're a good DJ. You need to learn more rock. You know, I didn't. Right. My, yeah. I didn't grow up. With, yeah. You know, my parents. I mean, one promoter that's doing that these days. But no, but exactly. I'm saying. But it's the same. I know it's, it's the same thing. Same thing. You kind of got to learn thing. along the way because, yeah. like, yo, I'm a Korean dude that grew up like in Spanish Harlem and Upper West Side Manhattan. Like yeah. I grew up around hip hop, reggae. Our era had yeah. to do that shit. But and you know, these my kids mom's now just don't. Have my mom's was listening to promoters you, don't. Promoters don't tell you. They just we fucking had to don't do book way you. Way more again. fucking work to they get don't to speak where to we're you. at. Yeah. yeah, way more. Hey, yo, Nitrine, don't let these old motherfuckers pick no, on you. So not at all. Yeah, 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 <laughs> just because you listen, I respect all of them. But he's playing EDM for eighteen-year-olds, not to like, you know, just yeah. You know, <laughs> that shit's hype as fuck, right, man? You know, Stone Stone actually, you know, comes out the house and listens to people. You know, everybody in here does their homework. You're yeah. here for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to say that 
just the younger generation doesn't do their homework. It's like you have to be a little more specific. All right, right, right. I got to bring something up because you guys are all talking, but nobody's like thinking about how much information is coming at you if you're a young kid. How much new information? Like how many songs would come out in a summer for us in like the eight, the nineties or eighties? How many? How many are coming out for these kids? How many different genres? And they have access to everything constantly. So they're looking forward. Whatever's new, they're moving, moving, moving because everything's coming at them. Right. You don't even have time to go backwards. Like we had time because we were looking for all the best songs that we could possibly get in a crate. And we didn't have to juggle social media. Right. So we had all that time That's to just focus on music. But like mm -hmm. kids today, they're constantly being bombarded by information. And they can, like to me, it's one of those things like humanity is just figuring their shit out for the first time. And with, with us for music, like watching all this come in, like when I saw the internet come out, I was like, yo, this is going to be hard for us. Because there's gonna be so there's gonna be a fraction that just loves this one little thing, and this fraction that likes one little thing, and they're they're all gonna come to the club and expect their shit to get played, and like, I know just the amount of like information coming at kids today. But once you put the crazy. bag in front of their face and you say go find George Benson and play stuff like that, oh, yeah. they go fucking find, I, I, find I, yeah. it for real. Let's go. Yeah. But that's so, what I'm saying. So. You guys are like talking about kids like uh, like they don't want to do the work. The it, it's so much more work to absorb all the shit that's coming in for them. On the flip, so much more information. Yeah. On the flip. They don't want to do the work because it's getting pushed to them. No, I th I well, think. Shit is. Yeah, I, so, I think so. So yeah, so so why 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 would I why would I take time away from Instagramming and and research music when it's just getting pushed to me? Really, and, I feel like it's hard to find new music. Like when no, there's yeah, so much music, you, you just go no, to no, DJCity.com. No, I'm saying like, right? <laughs> and now the new beat source. Check out. Yeah. Check out Check and, out that new trends catalog, and, and you're good to and go. You're good. <laughs> what else do you need? No, what I mean is that like there's so many albums drop. I don't even know when an album drops. Like sometimes motherfuckers tell me like I didn't know a Missy Elliott album dropped. It was I didn't, an EP. It was an EP. I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know Post Malone dropped an album. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but but what what I'm saying is, we're 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 in the era where every news gets pushed to you. Uh, uh, Instagram updates get pushed right, to you. Right. This uh, Facebook feed gets pushed to you. Music gets pushed to you. Mm -hmm. So everything gets delivered to you. So if that's if, if you're in the mindset of it'll come to me eventually, yeah. fuck you got to go research for. That's why. That's I, what, I get what you're what saying, I but I, 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 I don't think though. the new, new kid. I don't think kids are thinking like that. I think the kids. I think that's how the older. That's how the older DJs look. They're but, like, but honest, I'm not gonna play any of this new shit. Just, like, how many of y'all are playing like Little Tecca? I and play Little Tecca. Yeah, you play yeah, Little Tecca. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, but there's yeah. not a lot of older dudes that know about Little Tecca Ransom. Because that know they're not about doing. That shit. I don't feel. I don't think they're doing. Yeah, there's a parties. There's there's all, a lot of these older DJs yeah. aren't doing the research. They're waiting for the shit's songs right. to come to them. But that's just you right know what I mean. Like Little Tecca's yeah. been on on fucking Spotify playlist at the yeah. top. For but there's still dudes that don't know that shit. They don't know that. I gotta say, I do not begrudge the younger generation for not doing that stuff. No, I don't. Because it's not as fucking important. Because in this day and age, you're not, there are not that many places where you're getting hired because you do a great job. You're getting hired because you either like bring three people through the door, they like the way you look, your Instagram, and this and that. I'm super lucky. I have a job where they keep me there as I, I sort of fit the bill physically, I think, to some degree. And I do a, rip, a very good job. I'm, I'm tall and good looking. I look great behind the DJ booth there. It's the hair. I, I do. Hair. I literally work at a steakhouse. Steak <laughs> I literally work at a steakhouse. But like, you work at a steakhouse. The job. <laughs> The job I have is <laughs> like, DJ. they need a DJ that's good at it, right? And you right? have a collared shirt. I do wear a collared shirt, that's right. And uh, the Uniqlo ones, you don't have to iron them, the new Uniqlo ones. But what I'm saying is like, <laughs> you don't, like, if you're wow. a kid to get booked and to like get out there and get it popping, it's about the brand, it's about a lot of other things. Like, doing a good enough job is fucking fine. Yeah, no, no, but I think there are people out there, there are DJs out there that are playing really good music, and people want the good music and the good selection out there. I mean, his party is a testament to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, everyday people. There's tons of parties out here in L.A. that are testaments to that. Uh, Sean G., Drew Bird, right? Shaba on Saturdays. I know there's some, I don't know L.A. that well, but I know there's some parties at Lock and Key. Tribe. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. there's... there's <laughs> Tribe. What is it? Tribe. Tribe at Lock and Key. Like, there, there, it is important, Periods. but it is tied in with branding. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. I still think, like, I mean, there's no reason, like, I'm, like, basically an old white dude, right? Like, right. I don't look good on a flyer. I definitely don't look good on a flyer. You don't look I, good in person either. I know. Exactly. <laughs> I'm aware of this. Ne never, never. Hey, I don't know yo. what you're talking about, you round head. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. The, the bottom line is, I stick around because I'm good at my job. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You're always, 
Sorry. And, and that's the thing. That's the thing is like, yeah, like I love when someone DJs before me and they try to burn me with all the new stuff. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah, thank you. Know you. I mean? Because I know I got deep pockets. For sure. Yeah, and exactly. all you guys got deep pockets. Yeah. And yeah. to me, I'm like, I'm like, if I can't play after the, these dudes, then what am I doing? Why well, you still DJing? Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah, that's, that, that's why I'm still doing it. I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, I feel like we grew, well, at least I grew up in a place where, like, those skills really matter. And I feel like they still do. And I feel like, you know, maybe prices go down, go up. But you could still, like, to me, you know, money has never been the big motivator in why I'm a DJ. You know what I mean? I'm a DJ because I really love what I do. And... You know, I did it in my bedroom for no money, and probably long after nobody wants to hear me, I'll probably do it anyway somewhere. I feel like you know these saying? younger DJs are tired. Honestly, like with the older, like the younger DJs, y'all got to be tired of these older DJs that we're still around, no? <laughs> like, cause we're kind of fucking up your money. Step, step the game up. Add to what Cream said, rises to the top. To what adds what I was, he was gonna you don't say. Have much longer. I think. <laughs> sure. I think the time is near. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if you are really good at DJing, you can always earn a fucking living. Mm -hmm. I think that we went through an era where being really good at DJing earned us a sort of, ex we're a kind of overpaid, right? Whatever you want to think about it. If you don't think we're overpaid, fine. That's fine. I, I, some days I don't, but it's come back mm -hmm. down. But when you buy the shirts, the college shirts that we don't think you get paid enough. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty cheap anyways so like we were kind of high paid for a little while and we we're just good at our job things have changed it's a fucking different world you can still earn a living being really good at this job but it's not going to be you're not going to be on the fucking marquee you got to do more now but being a good dj was your brand before now actually building a brand like a business is the priority yeah, and sure. that includes yeah. social media and everything else that comes with it but it's just a different hustle before yeah. your hustle was being good. Yeah, you just show up and you do a good job. They got yeah. the party and they need somebody to rock it. It's just a different fucking world, man. Yeah. Um, it's just one more thing you add. Like, I mean, you saw the DJs with great record collections, but they just had, you know, but then those you saw a lot of those dudes just go by the wayside. All of a sudden, Serato came out or CDs came out, and all of a sudden, everyone had the same records. And those dudes just kind of floated away. But the dudes who still had skills and could still play could still go. I just feel like social media is just the next hurdle. Like the DJs or the people that don't want to deal with it. They'll go by the wayside and the kids who, or the kids or the, the older dudes, whatever, who can do it well are going to continue to do it. It's just the next hurdle. They always add new shit. It's always, oh, you got to do this. Now you got to, now you got to have a good social media. Now you got to get a website. Now you got to make music. Now you got to be a producer. They're websites always adding are, things. Websites are washed too. Yeah, websites <laughs> are washed. What's the website for? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. I just feel like just another step. And like as a DJ, you can either take a step or you can not. And I think that's just when, when dudes just time out. I think right? what's going to be interesting is um, the new generation of DJs that came in in the past four or five years, when they're realizing that they're in like this two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar a night profession, and the pay the pay is not going up. What's going to happen to all those DJs? Are they all going to quit at the same time? Well, when the impetus is is not a love for DJing and it's a love. P P E N I S. When it's not for the when it's when it's not for the love of, of DJing and it's for the love of attention and money and the money's not there and maybe the attention wanes a little bit because you're 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 resentful that the money's not right so you're not on your social media and now your attention's kind of like meh then they're just gonna go away because I follow a lot of those DJs I work with a lot of them in, in New York like I'm. Like, um, the next everyday generation. people, yeah, I'm, I always try to book, like, you know, four or five DJs per event, and I kind of try to split it up, like, up-and-comers and, like, vets, you know what I mean? And so I've developed, like, close relationships with a lot of younger DJs, people under 27, and I'm kind of reading their tweets, you know, and I'm like, and they're just basically venting, subbing venues, I'm like, like, they're going through it right now, a lot of them. A few of them have developed their own parties, Mm. have branched out yeah. in production or have flipped into like some fashion shit or even like parlayed some celebrity um you know relationships and they're doing all right but like there's a whole bunch of them that's just like how, how much are you paying your djs uh <laughs> <laughs> put them on the spot i'm just kidding i'm just kidding well, damn. are it's, it's, you the reason why we're not getting no, i'm sorry <laughs> i'm actually like i pay my DJs for an hour set at Everyday People hmm. probably more than those uh, nightclubs in Manhattan Word. that we were talking That's about yeah. for one hour. Yeah, you know, but it's different. I control the entire budget. You know, yeah, yeah. right? I got like you get it. People coming through the door. You get I'm it. taking you everyone's money. Yeah. And I try to redistribute it. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess it's kind of like 
to be a working club DJ is not enough. It's not going to be enough in the future unless you're really just going to stack gigs right. and you're going to work like six nights a week and like do double shifts. What up, people? You know, uh, well, every every day people do that every day. But but yeah, they but, go five days a week. They work eight hours a day. Like, but I I even see I see a franticness. They feel like they should be. I agree. Different. But I agree no, with no. him. I do see a franticness in some of the younger DJs. Like, what is the next step? Like, you know, it's not enough that I'm getting these gigs. I've got so many thousands of followers now. And it's still not enough to get this. Well, and I'm, a I'm only getting opening board, sets, dude. and they try to give me 150 dollars. Even, even in the, everybody's making money AM era, there was a fucking ceiling, and you had to do more to get above that ceiling. But there was just so much. There was less DJs. Was there there was less DJs, but there you know. was a ceiling, and you could get like 2K on Saturday, right? Maybe push it 25, maybe three for like a certain. Is gig. that all you were getting? But it, yeah. <laughs> but if you if you really wanted to break that ceiling, you had to do more even yeah. back then, and that was like everyone's flush it was that was in the middle in the midst of the gold rush there was a fucking ceiling and you had to do more than ma to make more than like 250 but you're year. talking about a ceiling that even if you don't get past that ceiling you're still living comfortable right yeah but a fucking great it's great the ceiling now a fucking is great life legitimately like poverty line right if they're getting one or two gigs a week and it's an opening gig and they're giving them yeah, that's yeah, that's everyone in New York. A lot of openers and people in New York are like shit is fucked up. Money right. is fucked up. Well, because to live in New York, so LA, it's a like, different ceiling. A, a, yeah. a, anyone who started, anyone, anyone who was DJing before Serato did it and, and was consistently doing it, did it because they loved it. Mm -hmm. And they and we probably still love it. So we can continue to do it again. If you if you don't love what you're doing, if you're doing it for money and attention and one of those things stop happening, it's a wrap for you. So all I, I believe that all these kids that are that are the kids that are doing it not for the love of DJing, they're just gonna fall by the wayside and then everyone else will just continue. Yeah. And so they're, 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 there definitely will be a, a uh, thinning of the a, uh, a purge. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there will be but a purge for sure. The market calls it the market calls it a correction. Yeah, like a like a, <laughs> like, a, like, a, a like a suicide <laughs> purge. Like okay. everyone just I think gonna, in New York it's easier to have two, three gigs a night. Yeah, because it opens so long. So Same thing in yeah. Chicago. Oh, Guys yeah. open it, then they go and close. Oh, I definitely see a lot of people in New York having two, three, four, even four yeah. times a night. Like Millhouse is doing four gigs. Any four, a day. any four a.m. city. Yeah, you, you got, you can get, you squeeze in two gigs, three gigs. Like well, how's eight. it? How's it like in L.A. right now? Like Bella, you've got a pretty strong social media following, right? You're like you're do you do Vegas and you do L.A. Yeah. Uh huh. You bounce around, but do you still like? Where's do you feel like? You know, what is the next step? What do I have to do next? You know, what? You know, what is there more? What does to that have to do with social media? What's your question? To me, I'm saying that you. you I'm saying no, no. Then... I'm saying you have a good social media following, uh -huh. and you're a good. De you're a very competent DJ. You're like killing. You're lit. Yeah, you're lit. <laughs> you're popping. So what? When you're popping like that, in your situation, what is in your head? What is the next step for you to do? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I, it just depends on what you think a successful DJ is. Like, um, I've seen a lot of new DJs. If I ask them where they want to end up at, yeah. they don't. They, I, I think the whole the whole argument between you know the young DJs not putting any emphasis or importance on learning how to DJ, like learning the history and going about it like the right way, is because social media has made it different, like different levels of success. So there's some DJs who look at success as like, I'm Instagram famous, I'm getting a bunch of gigs. And there's some DJs that think that being successful just means that you're playing like five to six nights a week or you have your own party, like MoMA. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I guess it just de it depends on what your definition of a successful DJ is. Like for me, it'd be something, I, I guess in the nearest future, it'd be something like branding my own party mm -hmm. and having that under my name. Like if, if people said my name, I want my name to you know go hand in hand with the party that's as well known as something like everyday people but it doesn't mean that that's what that's my end game you know what i mean right. like there's steps to that and again like there's different levels of success for different djs it just depends where you want to end but up you at. don't see it as just working the working clubs and continuing to do that way you not for me personally but that depends on like i said that depends on who like there's djs in here that just want to be working djs they just want to provide for themselves they want to be able to just keep busy and booked and pay their rent you know what i mean like yeah. they don't i mean maybe i'm just saying that not everybody wants to be like famous don't i guess or like Bella. popular <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so but it depends on what like kind of dj you want to be what you think a successful dj is like some don't want to be i mean some don't want to be like famous and popular they just want to be booked 
and busy. Yeah, Does that make keep, sense? Keep working. But part of that yeah. pay problem, part of that pay problem goes back to like the saying of like nobody really wants to be rich. They just want to look rich. And so a lot of DJs don't really want to get headlines. Who says they don't want to be rich, but they want to look rich? No, 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 I'm sorry. They want to they want to they want to look I'm saying, but I'm saying they want to look rich. They don't necessarily have to be rich, right? That's what social media pla the platform gives you. Mm -hmm. And so on the same side as a DJ, like yeah, you could go headline a gig, but you're not going to get headline money. But they'd rather get the look than they, to actually get the well, bag. Well, like right That's now, the currency yeah. is the right. Point. The social, the social cachet is another currency, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, there's a couple hundred bucks." But you got to know how to use that. Look, yeah. is worth right. five hundred bucks for me. Right. Yeah, so I feel like I made seven hundred, right. but that's not going to pay your rent. No. Yeah. no. And it's not going to help you scale. Right and, on. And once, and, and, help you scale? and once you go, once if you, you go ahead, once sorry. you take that two hundred dollars, you've priced yourself now. So yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. You you got the look, and you might get the look every week or whatever they're doing now once a month because residencies don't exist. But now you're st you're a two hundred dollar DJ. Disagree, yeah. I mean, man. Everyone here started at like yeah. a low amount. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So you but can't we say we didn't start at a low pay at a really premium event. Well, also, right, but also none of us say, did. We were in like dive bars getting one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Say you do right? that gig for two hundred, get that look. That doesn't mean this other promoter in this city or that city knows what you got paid for that. Right. You're like, I did exactly. this shit. Exactly. That's right. nothing new. And then new. you use that to parlay it to the next yeah. shit yeah. Yeah. and try and yeah. update. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing new. It's always been that way. Yeah. Just for that look. Like somebody would DJ like a high profile gig, get paid like $200, and they'll look good, but it will eventually lead them to getting that high pay that they should be getting in the first right. place. I mean, At the dude, end of the it, day... I but. think it's a fucking numbers game. There's just so many fucking people doing this. If you think the money's going to stay the same with this many motherfuckers doing it, you're crazy. Well, here's yeah. this is what I've known. So I've been DJing. Well, we've us three have been DJing for 13 years, which is a lot shorter Collectively than most or? of you. Yeah. No, <laughs> <they do>. Collectively. <laughs> so I imagine most of, most of you guys have been DJing Don't a lot longer when you're on than the show. 13 years. 13 years um, ago. 13 years. <laughs> Collectively. So what I've noticed is a lot in those 13 years, I've noticed people getting into the game, not just as DJs, but in nightlife and they're gung ho. And you can think about all the, the bottle service girls in Vegas who start out doing that. And yeah. then 10 years later, they're, they're out or maybe not so much the girls, but the DJs are like, damn, this isn't as lucrative as, as I thought it would be. And it's taking a toll on my liver. It's taking a toll on my health. I, I'm not like, I'm, I'm, some of these guys are barely getting by. So they're realizing, I need to get out of this game and do something that's a little bit more stable. And I think you're starting, I'm starting to see that now where, yeah, like people are getting paid, DJs are getting paid more. Everyone's, you know, rates are getting cut. So I think some guys are like, yeah, it's time for me to just not do this anymore. I think, uh, I think w what I'm starting to see is that budgets are going to get cut. I'm seeing Vegas budgets are getting cut. And uh, usually we kind of saw it after the summer and we started all seeing yeah. it across the board in August. So they're prepping for something bad to happen in Vegas. They're prepping for election year next year, 2020, which is going to be a horrible year for, you know, it might be a good year, but because Trump's well, going to win again. Well, I think election year in, in, in Different history, kind of podcast. Regardless, <laughs> in history, pod wrong podcast, yeah, oh, my e bad. even with retail or anything like that, like election year, no one I, wants I to spend. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think these fucking nightclub owners and operators know shit about shit. They're cutting the budgets because they want to cut the budgets. They just don't want to pay no. DJs any no, no, more no, no, than no, they no, have no, to. No, no, no. Dude, they, dude, dude they, they are there to make money. That's it. It, it is. It, no, no. It, it is. Dude, these are corporations, right? These aren't like little things. So like, you, so you these think, things are corporations. What do corporations want to do every year? Go up. If they don't go up, what do they do? They have to find a way to make that money. Right. So what do they do? What's the first thing almost any operator, if a they new manager the goes DJ to the budget. club, cut, first thing they do? Cut pay. Entertainment. No, they cut DJ pay, and they, yeah. they raise drink prices by 10 cents. That's what every person does. And then they look at the, the, the books, and they're like, oh, look, I killed it for you guys. Okay, so, like so, so for the last 20 minutes or so, we've been talking about the problem. What would you guys say? The solution right now is that while DJs, uh, like kind of Bella kind of talked about, you know, building a party, you, you in, uh, in your past podcast episodes, you talked about working on production and doing stuff. The point is, is that you have to really do more as a DJ. And when it gets slow, that doesn't mean like you, you got to start going on Twitter and venting. It's really the time to really start getting productive. Creative. And building yeah. well, stuff. Well, that's the solution. Yeah, and is also, you you also, really have to start building something. And that's, that's the main thing that I want to say is that I think next year is going to be a rough year for DJs. I think it's going to be rough for nightlife a little bit. And I think in preparation, that is the time for you to build shit. And just watch your money a little bit, but really start building something. Really look at yourself. Because if you look at any successful DJ up here, there is, you know, being a good DJ is just one, like, element of us. 
You know what I mean? And if you keep turning, you know, if you keep turning uh, and going deeper into who the person is, you know, MoMA has more to him. He's doing production. You know, he stays in Brazil to do production. He has everyday people. He's doing a ton of things. I do a ton of shit. I got the podcast. I make clothes. I do, like, I do design work. I do freelance work. It goes on and on. And the thing is, you have to stay productive. You have to stay productive. And you can't really bank on just one outlet for money. Right? And by, you can tell me if I'm wrong at any point. Be who, figuring out who you are. Exactly. Play to your strengths your and yeah. realize that, that there's like a lot of stuff going on here. You got a lot of different things yeah. to do. But no. if you know who you are and you start working towards your strengths, you're going to be all right, I think. Every, I, mean, I think everyone has like a future. thing. <laughs> Everyone's got some shit that. that they can like crush it at. But if you're out here trying to crush it at some shit that's not your shit, like you're going to be fucked. Like know who you are, know your strengths, play to them, work on them. And I, th I think that's part of the problem is they see on Instagram like, oh, the DJ's popping. I'm going to go DJ, get all this money. Yeah. Because like you said, it's more important to look rich than to be rich. So, so people from the outside are like, I want to do that, not realizing what's really going on. Right. And, and to you know, Rock's point, if you're doing something that that's not your lane, that's yeah. not what you're you're really about, you're, ultimately you're either going to fail or you're going to burn out. And start working together. It's, I feel like a lot of DJs are all on their own. No one wants to work together. Like y'all got to really come together and start. Like I can't. Like one DJ can't build a party, but four DJs can build a, a dope ass party. I'm not trying to blow you, know you up I mean? on my Instagram though. No, you, I'm, getting, I'm saying you, you can, can always delete. You can always no. I will say to what you said when I was doing like the 2000 shit. At the end of the day, like that shit was not who I am, and it fucking crushed me. Yeah, you burned out. Yeah, yeah. I burned out, yeah. and I fucking fly, and I've spent like 10 years in the wilderness. Yeah, but I'm back now. <laughs> welcome, welcome back at, at the steakhouse. Welcome like back. the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Be, but before you move on, Cricket, being specific to being specific to pay, you have to create the leverage and utilize the power in no, right? Just because you get offered the gig doesn't mm -hmm. mean you should take the gig. Mm -hmm. And in the leverage that you create in the other lanes, right, in your goals, your aspirations, you can't force nobody to understand what your success means to you. That's, what that, what that that's knowing is. that's knowing your worth, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but some people can't afford to put their worth in yeah. front of them because they got bills. They gotta eat. So there's a difference, right? I couldn't, I, did, I didn't there's, really understand There are plenty that. of people that DJ and have another job. 100%. Yeah. But, so, they're, but a lot but, of people- And they're, they're too proud. I'll bet, I'll bet that more people don't have another job because of their ego. Yeah, they're too proud. Because like working at Starbucks and having the DJ gig on Friday and Saturday night is not cool. That's yeah, but not, you know how many baristas meet people? That's what I'm saying. You'd be you throw the ill party if you were the barista. Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, come to my party. Come to my party. Come to my party. Come to my party. Uh, what do you call it? I think we're gonna wrap it up. I think DJ City doesn't want all these people here this late. Um, we we were gonna talk about East Coast and West Coast DJs. Well, thank God for Serato. You guys were able to mix some records now. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on, we can shout something out. Dang. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think we got a little bit more time. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> can all the West Coast deep now? I'm just saying. It was right. in, it How was many invented. East Coast DJs we got in here? I consider myself. This isn't a fair. I'm from New York, but I didn't. Okay. I started no, he's an LA DJ. That's good yeah, enough. Yeah, That's yeah, good yeah, enough. Yeah, you can come yeah, on that side. Yeah. All right. What up, Equal? I uh, said Equal. Equal killed it yesterday. All right. So, Danger, what was your what was your gripe about what I say about West Coast? Well, DJs? What did you say first of all? Yeah. What was no, your what did you say? I, I think I no, remember. I think just oh. just listening to uh, 100th episode, I probably heard about 50 of them because I wasn't into listening to podcasts no, 50 cool, episodes cool. ago. Yeah, yeah. But I just think listening to you, it, it just seems like you always had like a shot to take at West Coast DJs, and for whatever reason, like their style. Or and then I'm starting to think like, well, maybe this is a, a New York LA thing because in the 90s when I was growing up, it was always LA versus New York, whether it was sports. Or music, you know, hip hop started in the West, right? That pissed you guys off when Ice Cube said that. That was the original beef for It's not accurate. Ice Cube didn't have <laughs> that. Yeah, he not said hip hop started in the West in the West Side Slaughterhouse. And to my knowledge, that's what kicked What's off West Danger. What's West Side Slaughterhouse? Yeah, Mac know. 10, Mac, Mac 10, 10 Dub C, there was a song yeah, called yeah. West Side Slaughter. Uh, you have already lost, is, you've already anyways, lost this. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, look, I'm gonna I know, why am I trying to explain a West Coast song to this? <laughs> 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 yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like <laughs> so, so here's my story. Freeway from Philly, though. It's the longest I've been alive. There's been East Coast Freeway from Philly. Yeah, right. I'm going to tell you like so. Here's my story. So here's my story. I've been alive. There's the East Coast to my, for as long as I've been alive, my experience with people from New York is 
you guys always had something against LA for whatever reason. Explain, so, explain the West Coast DJ style. Better than New York. It's a mix of everything, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Not, not all wait, DJs wait, wait. go eight bars in and out. I think. Huh? I, not wait, all, wait. Say it again. Not all. Not all West Coast explain, DJs. Go in. Explain. 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 <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's explain the 2000s, maybe even late night. I've, ne I, I've never been in L.A. I don't know what's going on in L.A. I don't know what's going on in L.A. All I know is when I moved to, when I moved to Las Vegas, right? When I moved to Las Vegas and I was listening to L.A. DJs, yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. They did not know how to, they did not know how to DJ hip-hop. What year is this? In, in, in a, what, in a, year, what year is this? 2005. 2005. So this is the beginning of... The good guys getting shipped out, and the guys that shouldn't be playing getting moved up the ranks. So you might have gotten not necessarily, not necessarily. I think by the time he moved to Vegas, you already had established vets. Yeah, yeah, had vets there. Yeah, yeah, but, but the people but, getting put we, on at that time. But were look, man, this is numbers, man. It goes <laughs> till two in L.A. It goes till four in New York. We get two hours of hardcore experience that people out here don't get. And New York stays longer than four sometimes. Yeah, yeah. motherfuckers yeah, are five. better in New York. It, it, and number it, one and number two, all this skills bullshit, all this West Coast, we're so good at DJing bullshit. It's always more important to play the right fucking song than it is to have some sort of like technical fucking bullshit. One hundred percent. And New York always put playing but, but, a song but first. But that doesn't mean we're not playing oh, the, the right song. Well, a lot of times they're not playing the right song. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I think I think from like even a, just a, 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 a sociological standpoint, everything in New York is much more aggressive, lean yes, forward, intense. going. Yes, intense. So that's, I think that's the DJ style also. Like you yeah. guys are like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because not every track sounds dope slammed in. We're out. We're cut we're out, in. I agree no, no, with no, that. No. Wait, wait. We're out here. Yeah. Out here, things are maybe a little bit more relaxed. More laid back. Culture. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. we're chilling. And you so, got, and got shitty weather. And, and you're, you're, you're like, <laughs> that, that <laughs> might play into what is going on. This is actually a good reference. Yeah, actually. but can you we're say that the best would be the middle of that, which is like Oklahoma, like Chicago. Wow. Wow. Chicago. What I'm saying is like mixture. I'm a West Coast dude. Dude, Shout but out to all Oklahoma. the DJs that I really loved were the flexes with the kid Capris. Yeah, you did but, not like I, but I also love. But I'm, I'm from a San Diego dude, so like I'm from the West Coast, right? I'm definitely not from the East Coast. But I'm um, like all those dudes I loved, and I really like copied their style. But when I would watch like the Beat Junkies, and that's the flawless mixing is super clean, I took that also. And I feel like if you don't have both, yeah, like the best you. DJs do both. But like, I, so yeah. I don't but even I know what the wait, discussion let's, is about. Let's, wait, wait, let's talk about Philly DJs because let's, let's, they the. Yeah, yeah. yeah DJs from Philly actually no, know how good. to. They know how to play like New York DJs with the drama. And they, they also have. And they know I'm how gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say nah to that. Nah to Philly. Nah. Okay. Shout Ooh. out Jazzy Jeff. Nah. But <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But the bigger wait. problem is you're you're saying that Cosmo. West Coast DJs, specifically LA DJs, because of your experience, are inferior to the East Coast. No, no, no. no. Let me break it down. Okay, I haven't even said anything about inferior. Okay, go. I'm gonna say this. Our culture in New York, right? West Coast guys, you guys basically created the extended intro for every song. That's a Bay thing. That's, that shit's from the Bay. Yeah, but it leaked it's over California. to the whole fucking Cali. It's a West Coast. Yeah. It's a West so Coast. wait, wait, wait. You guys had those records. We did not have those records. Do you understand? Okay. So that's why our style mixed of DJing, factor or what and not only you that, mixed factors and fat wax. You no, we didn't have that on the East Coast. Didn't have no, you no. didn't buy them; they were expensive, and it's pointless. It's like bullshit. Okay, you know wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Let me. I'm just look. Let, let, there's a longer history of hip hop in New York, and 100%. I could be wrong. Another dude could school me on this. Another OG, but I'm thinking this: hip hop started with using the best parts of the song, right? Yes. Repeating, right. juggling the shit. Yes. We also know how to get navigate through records, and just really kind of like. Really, just go through music and really like keep switching breaks and keep going. That that translated to mixing genres, mixing hip hop in it with everything and sampling hip hop and everything. Right? Yeah. We have a good ten years on LA, and I was only say this because I'm just starting to see, and I could be wrong. LA hip hop bottle service clubs are more popping now than they were ever. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. You what you guys have been going through right now is what we New York went through in ten years ago. Sure. When 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 Live started popping on Sundays and motherfuckers were having hip hop like bottle serve like ill bottle service parties. Y'all yeah. are just starting to like pop that in the past. I don't know how many years. Two. Yeah. Two. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, I have, no. But I have, that's also I have, so, I have to it also has that. to do with the music coming. Wait wait out wait, wait 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 wait. I'm just so I feel like New York nightclub and nightlife and DJs and club DJs. We have a one up. A good 10 year advance on LA. Wait. Right. And when I came, wait. When, 
when a when a, when a New York DJ starts DJing, they have to DJ 10:30 to 4 a.m. 10:30 to 4 a.m. When I went to LA for the first time in 2005, y'all had four DJs in one night that did an hour. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the that passion. is that is the worst training session for a fucking DJ. I sure. would, uh, for, to I would do agree. one hour. I would sure. agree. I, I would tell any LA DJ that like, yo, let me do Vegas. Let me do Vegas. Let me do. Let me see if you could do Vegas and do a two hour set. And I guarantee you that motherfucker will burn out in 45 minutes. At, back then, I, I agree with you. But it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it better. And that's the conversation. Not yeah, so the, the, to first. prove it. No, what, I get what you're what, saying. What, did anything I say is wrong? No, no. I, no, I didn't disagree with. Anything so that's you why said. when I hear LA dudes and when I heard them come and mix and they played hypnotized, but they had an eight bar extended intro for hypnotized. That's crazy. I'm just, no, no, <laughs> but that's I all y'all. That's every no, one of them. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Yes, no. yes. I hear that shit all the time. Oh my god, I hear that shit all the time. Back then, look, back then, I hear that shit. I don't think it's the DJs in this room that do that. I'm telling you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm telling you, they don't do that now because the East Coast style has leaked over to the no West way. a little no. bit. Yo, no, no, yeah, absolutely. Because bringing you back to your point when you're saying how LA LA clubs now are like, you know, ten, uh, New York clubs are were 10 years up, right? And now the LA clubs are more popping now. The bottle yeah. service is popping. Yeah. But a lot of those DJs are doing your quote unquote New York style DJing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They on the mic. They on they the, on the, the mic, mic talking shit. The mic. They dropping songs Ask on the one. Exactly. They dropping songs on the one. Right? Yeah. Fire right Yo, I'm telling you right now. The only reason why y'all talking like this, y'all did not DJ like this in 2005. No. It was, I'm not going to even no. diss the West Coast motherfuckers like that. Y'all are nasty. Y'all can scratch your ass off. Y'all have dope concepts. Y'all do dope wordplay. Y'all do a lot of Subtle dope routines this. and tricks. But if I come out here and I want to have a good time and party, I would be like, listen to West Coast DJs and, and well-known, respected West Coast DJs doing hip-hop sets. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? He's playing... <laughs> He's playing an eight bar intro with the gin and juice. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Okay, but it's... why are you using? Why am I hearing? You, you've heard these. Why DJs am I hearing? Full of time, why am I though? hearing? Go, get your hands up! Get your hands Yo, up! I think right I, before. I really think. Like, uh, I really like, think yeah. that this this is a product of DJs that should not have been playing in that two thousand. It's not. Mid 2000. It's not. It was I, actually high and, profile and this not, DJ. This is not me. This is not me defending At anything I do because I definitely will run. Four or eight bars. Yeah, but when, also, when also, you used to do that thing with uh, yeah, Humpty to, Dance yep, into yep. uh, to, to Jay Z, that's indefensible. So, <laughs> what what did I do, Humpty Dance? That was a, that was a disco oh, tech bootleg on nah, Brooklyn Clan, wasn't it? My my mine was uh, Humpty Dance into Paperboy Diddy. So. Check yourself. You never did. Two. You never, never did Humpty Dance in the PSA. Allow me to allow introduce. Me to introduce come on, come on, man. Yeah, that was an edit on Crooklyn. That's, in, that's <laughs> indefensible. That was an edit on Crooklyn. Plan on <laughs> New York some side. Indefensible West Coast wait, bullshit. Wait, wait, wait. That is West Coast. That is the concept and routine, and the and the and the skill set, trumping, the energy and the party, the song in the room. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And that's where I feel like the West Coast styles to put. Uh, skill and technical and conceptual thought and routines first before the actual room energy and the party. But why does it have to? Okay, well let me say this. When when, when whoever you heard dropped whatever set they did, was that working for that room? Barely. It wasn't even working. Yo, like I feel, it was, I, I'm it was tell whatever. You right now, it was. I'm gonna tell you like there when I first came out there and I was. I'm not saying I changed the Vegas and shit. I mean, never was there. There was mad DJs that were there. But when I just started dropping shit and just like, you know, just like aggressively dropping shit, doing New York styles better. and shit, it, it, people were like, oh shit, like this is how hip hop sounds, should sound. It's like, unless the mix is adding to the energy, right. fucking slam that shit. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, and people, and, all, and I'm, I'm all for like, it. That's I'm all for it. And this is the said, thing. Though. This is the that's, thing. That's how and I'm know. saying not every track. adds to it, like I'm slamming they, it. If I could break it down, it's about to go down, right? Like Jay Z. I, I want to love you or whatever, whatever. It's about to go down. West Coast DJs would do go into another record that went that looped. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. <laughs> but that's, wait, 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 at wait. At that time, that's wait. that's what was in. Wait, for, wait, wait. For no, West. no, it wasn't in. It was not in. <laughs> but so they were just talking about the wait, wait. West, though. It was this, not these in. were the edits wait, wait. that were out. Let me finish. Okay, okay, go just finish. <laughs> hey, yo. Was they it Justin Timberlake? It was just wait, wait. It's about to go down. They would think. <laughs> what song has says it's about to go down 
Maybe I can slow it down and go to Young Jock. It's going down. Yes, <laughs> that was that a is thing, a West though. Coast style. It's not a thing. Wherever I went, that's what I heard. Stuff like that. Wait, let me. Can I finish? Please, let me finish. This is the New York style. Wait, this is the New York style. The New York style is this. It's about to go down. Everyone's gonna sing that. What's the next big record I could catch them off guard and blow their fucking minds off and have them orgasm on the floor? Flip side. It's about to go down. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. (laughs) Wait, wait. No, I, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, nothing. Exact. Wait, they're listing. I there's so many songs. Punjab EMC. I could go into Rock the Mic. Uh, uh, whatever. The point is, is that then that New York style is open. It's open to the selection of the room that's gonna hit that room. Yeah. Whereas the other one is conform to this. It, it builds this, up. It, no, no, it's not even I mean, building up. With that You're stuck lyrics. on this concept, and it doesn't move from that no matter what, what's in front of you. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. And that's why I say the West Coast. You said it was in. That style was in. At the time. Time. Why you got to make it an East Coast, West Coast thing? Because I think it, it's it a was good at that DJ, time. bad DJ thing. No, because because it, we, wordplay has a time and a place, but you would never. a good DJ won't sacrifice the I'm energy saying, of the room for that wordplay. Thank you. Thank no, but I'm saying that East Coast motherfuckers were not doing that. And when but I there's came nothing to wrong with it in that time. There's if, nothing if that's wrong with what it, it is it in the time. If it works in that room. Okay, yeah, if yeah. it works, that's if what I'm works, saying. It's a different time. And you're referencing shit that, like, honestly, nobody's do- really doing out here the way they're doing it. Wordplay was a big thing at the time. Nobody's fucking working on 18 wordplays that they're not going to just throw up on the gram. Yeah, but it's changed the tone play. Yeah, nobody, no. No, no but that's but, not even a thing anymore. Nobody, wait, 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 done, right? wait, 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 please. Is tone, tone play done? Club, tone play's like, a side chick. It's okay, okay. Put it. So here, <laughs> you guys asked me why I say that, uh, like, I think a New York style of DJing is better. That is why. No, that, so that's much, the history it was, of No, it was, you no, said New York fair. DJs are better than uh, uh, West Coast DJs. I know. Change, change the verb. Uh, I said the New York style is better. I think a New York style is better 100%. I think it's evolved, and you haven't heard anybody play. No, no, I you you still think I think this this is what West Coast DJs do now? No, because yeah, the references you're making right now are the same. Of course they outdated. are, because that's when I came to the West Coast. Okay, and I'm saying that it's different so, now because y'all have adapted to some East Coast style. Yeah. And respectfully, you <laughs> so then what is no, they no. talking about? No, yeah, but respectfully, think, can we get him a Zan or something? No, Jesus, you're an OG, a part of a certain generation. You inspired a lot of us in this room that rep the LA style, right? And we've adapted and adjusted the. The so then what is the changed. what is the argument? They just said they adapted the New York style. Nobody knows. You're no. just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, no, this is the new West Coast style. No, like, no, it isn't. This is you doing no, New York is. shit. No, because because the kids that are coming up now are looking up to us. Yeah, but y'all doing some New York shit. That's that's it's not about who did it first, it's about who's doing it better. Okay, uh I will say uh, this though, DJ, when DJ, when DJ. when you're playing in New York ten no, no. to four, yeah. when you're playing in New York ten to four and two thirty hits, and you kind of like played a lot of the fucking hits, and you're just like, how do I do this? How do I make this last till four? There's like absolutely nothing I've experienced that tra- can train a DJ the way that sort of like, how am I gonna get from two thirty to four and keep these motherfuckers That's Vegas here? Too, right? And in Vegas yeah, a little bit, a little bit. In Miami Three. they can do it, but. I just remember those days. First of all, Miami, Shout Miami has Miami some DJs. amazing DJs. Shout out to Miami yeah, yeah, DJs. Miami got DJs. Holy shit. I will, I will say this. I will say this. Coming from LA and playing in New York, my early, my early uh, gigs in New York, I did have a hard time with the timing yeah. and keeping the room. And yeah. when I would go see whoever you or whoever playing. And I'm like hearing them play the records. I go, well, what the fuck's going to happen for the rest of the night? And then the rest of the night would happen. I'm like, oh, that makes perfect sense as it unfolds. So uh, there, to your point, I think, and to your point also, the New York DJ is probably more well-equipped to play a wider um, uh Wider because range. they practice, they have more yeah, time. they're they're there's in that atmosphere. Yeah, there's if, more time. If, if like clubs LA in LA starts shutting down at four a.m., LA do, LA we adapt. Playing, so the question is, you asked, why do I think the New York style of DJing is better? That is why. And it, it to me, it, with hip hop, and I, look, the way West Coast DJs look, I love I love a lot of the West Coast DJs now. I love Night Train. I love a lot of these dudes. Scooter was actually the first fucking West Coast DJ that I liked, and it's because he sounded like like a white. Cali version of Kid Capri. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. I, I take that as a yeah. 
he's the <laughs> he's the first dude I saw who had an extensive knowledge and was dropping like you know, fucking calling me bad in the middle of his prime time set and yelling at the crowd like, "Oh my sexy ladies, y'all better dance to this or blah blah." And I was like, "Yo, this motherfucker is he from New York?" And he's like, "No." That was like a super rare thing at that time for me to see that kind of energy and someone sweating and really going at it like I really DJing like an East Coast dude. Really but but I'm not shitting on West Coast dudes, but if you're asking me what style is more effective in a nightclub, I'm always going to say the New York style. And if you're saying that well the West Coast style is different now, I'd be like, "Well, what the fuck is different?" But you don't like y'all doing this. New York shit? Y'all talking what on the mic? Stonewalk said earlier, what people in our clubs are like smoking weed, they're chilling, they drove there, and prime time is 12 15 to 1 45. They smoke weed in New York in the clubs yeah, there too. But, but it's a chiller changed. vibe here, wanna... so we can, we, it's, it's region specific. How any of these DJs would play in New York or Miami is different than how we play in LA. In Miami, I have to go into those deep pockets, I have to fill 30 minutes, 45 minutes in between like and can bangers. You say, can, and, but in LA, you I, just play bangers. No. For no, 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 but can half, you say that DJing in, Miami, DJing in Miami has made you a better DJ? DJing in Miami messed me up in L.A. Because DJing in Miami, I learned, okay, I got to go from one all the way to four, and then I'd come to L.A. thinking I had all this time, and then I'd, it'd be 1.35, and I'm like, I have 10 minutes to get through yet. all the bangers yeah. now. I think, the, I I think the point of this whole thing is you should just listen to me. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> I say <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> but if you, if you asked anything, if you, look... If you asked anything about whatever, I'm not shitting on West Coast DJs, but I am saying, look, there's a time and a place for that old 2005. That's all dead and everything. But like you said, everything evolves into what it is now. If you ask me my opinion, that is always the New York style. You can't tell me that the West Coast style is now like it's, it's trumping New York style. Well, the LA like you saying like yo like Look, my, yeah my yeah point, but, but I, it's not about who started it's about who's doing it well, better. When I DJ, like, what, what I'm, just about? I'm just talking shit, but the reality yeah. is no no, but there's there's nothing behind but that. The difference is too like the LA DJ has to li literally like walk the crowd through shit because back in the day what, what you're referencing is we were trying to keep a dance floor at the time. Nobody's keeping a dance. Not, not many clubs in have fucking dance floors. In yeah. Cali, y'all yeah. was trying to keep a dance floor. Yeah. 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 People were focused on a cover, focused on a dance floor, yep. focused on large venues that were cert like focused on the dance floor. Now, wait, wait, what what hip hop clubs did y'all have that were mega clubs out here? Supper Club, yeah, Supper Playhouse, Playhouse, oh, that was Super Table. My no, house. no, no, I'm saying dance floor. Like before, I had a residency. I had a residency at a spot called Social, which was like probably held about a thousand people, and I, and it was just me. Y'all talking about like y'all talking about like five years ago? No, but you, no, okay. no, like I, ten this years was 2000 ago. Two thousand ten, nine, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Like 2009. ten years ago. Okay, but you asked like that. That was I had to carry the dance floor for four hours. And it's not one hour a DJ. Now there's that's no a, dance floor. In new clubs, yo, there is no dance floor. But that's a different floor. time. That's got, EDM yeah, time. You got to remember. There wasn't no EDM. Shots was like, oh my God, what the hell is that? Bro, you, this I mean, whole, it's the version of EDM, it was, though. You got to realize how much older you are than us. Like, we can't have that. Damn. What? Wait, what do you mean? What are you saying? No, it, okay. Hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. Chill out. No, look, we, we all got a late start around the same time in DJing. As yeah. far as age and experience in the DJ world, culture, clubs, yeah. nightlife, you have that on us by a decade probably. So we can't have Yeah, I mean, some of y'all are closer to age than me. Y'all like, I don't want y'all to like. No, we're talking about in, in regards to how long you've been spending. Well, I, I mean, mean motherfuckers are acting like they're like 20-something. They're not 20-something. No, we're not. <laughs> but I, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't, you can't say that because some of y'all are like the same, close to age as me. Y'all just weren't DJing as much as me. No, that we're not. So no, don't don't we just don't said that. don't fucking put age and experience in a different shit. Well, you know, no, we just you know said saying? that shit. Yeah, we just said that. Yeah, shit. yeah. go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you said yo yo yo. Y'all saying it's no, about because, age. Because I'm saying it's about experience. No, because our, no, yeah. yeah, because our references are different than yours. No, nah, but y'all also wasn't working. So y'all were DJs, but y'all weren't in the clubs in that early age. No, we age. weren't DJs. Yeah. We fucking got started, bro. I went to DJ school. I mean, I don't want to talk about that, but yeah. Good. I'm I, but, I, but I'm just for reference. Yeah, right? yeah. I went into a, into a space where I didn't know fucking know what an RCA cable was. All right, all right. Let's get to the you let's get, get to the, the meat and potatoes. The, yeah. The, the point is, our references are different than yours, and so our experiences and where we started and where our mentality was in keeping a room and keeping a vibe is much different today than it was then. Okay, and that's why I just told you about why 
I reference West Coast DJs the way I do. That. That was it. I'm I remember. I remember that. going. To, I remember going to Playhouse a long time ago, and and they had a, a, a New York DJ there. Yeah. And I swear to God, every four or six bars was a new fucking track slammed in. Yeah. I'm sucky like, oh my DJ god. A sucky DJ. Like, yeah. And no, but this is one of your dudes. This is like who was one it? One of the. I'm not gonna say his name. But this we was one of your dudes, and I'm like, are you, you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, can we let's like this is what's popping in New York. Like that's how I felt. Out no, no, time. I feel you. Yeah, so, there's so a lot. Not all, I know exactly not all what New you're York talking about. Are created equal. So yeah, there's a lot of whack motherfuckers everywhere. <laughs> there's whack motherfuckers right, everywhere. Right, what else you got on your list? What else you got? On your list? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move hey, on. Hey, right, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're we're done. Lumi D. We're done. We're done. We're done. I have. No, no, no. What's wrong with DJ school? What's wrong with DJ school? I have a question. Let's save that for the 200th episode. I have a question. The 200th. 150. I don't want to. I don't want to hear about a motherfucker telling me about his experience at a DJ school right now. Right now, I don't want to hear about that. Sorry. Is the new DJ City offices gonna have air conditioning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got a fucking well, sweatshirt on. Fucking Take it off. Hey, that, that motherfucker why, up there why? working its ass off. It's not even hot. Take why are you wearing a sweater? I, mean, you know, I wish question. they had a yeah, fucking DJ you school. In LA with the huh? on I wish they had a fucking DJ school. You know how much time I wasted? How much time did you fucking waste? Imagine if you could have sat down and learned yeah. some of that shit quick. Yeah, but the last thing I want to hear is about a motherfucker telling me about what you got to set like a DJ school right now. When I'm talking about this East Coast, West Coast shit. Well, that's over. We moved down the list. Oh, yeah, we did. A Jam Master J school. Mm. I just want to say shout out to Philly DJs. <laughs> what are we shout out to about? Miami DJs. Shout out to the live. Uh, Wait, slept on. What are we talking about? Shout out to, what about DJs? Jam Master J shout out to all the good DJs out there who love actually DJs and music. Yeah. How about that shit? And that's yeah. still working. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It is. True. I look, I look at all of these Amen. PC comments. But yo, shout out to Miami and Philly DJs. Yo. Yeah. For real. B Moore's in the house yeah. as well. Bay Area too. Huh? No. Shout out yep. Saquon. Audio. <laughs> shout out Saquon. <laughs> Audio yeah. ones in the building. Shout out to the Bay Area. Yeah, Bay Area is like the worst DJs. DJs. Okay. Oh. Oh. Bay Area is the worst DJs. Let's We're not shouting those out. We gotta end the show. Wow. We gotta end the show. Shout out DJ the Bay, 11. Right? Yeah. Finish the show. Oh shit, Audio ones <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's end this shit on a positive note, y'all. The Bay is like the home of the eight bar, and it's the home of the skills before selection. I'm not with that shit. Come on, Rock. Let's end on a positive note, man. Come on. Shout out to all good DJs. Shout out to all the DJs. DJs. Everybody loves And by the way, I, I, I do correct myself on saying the New York style because, honestly, I feel like it's an East Coast style that I'm talking about. That is like that's that I'm talking about, about just the way navigating through records and moving through crowds and stuff like that. There's a lot of Miami dudes out there that really fucking kill it that I, I always hear and I'm inspired by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. And, then, and then I remember going up to Philly back in the day and there was a lot of Philly dudes that used to kill that shit. So when I say New York, I, I, pardon me, I mean the East Coast style. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. But I, I still I still stand where I... I, I Everybody yeah. agrees with you now. Right, yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Rock, I rock. don't, but I respect it. All right. Cash them all. That's it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cash right, um, chips. Come You're on. good. All right. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, yo. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we got to plug a couple things, right? You yeah, want to yeah, plug? Yeah. You didn't say anything this whole thing. No, no I, I couldn't. You were yeah. <laughs> shooting everywhere. Anyway, uh, You're we got some. You just. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got some road yeah, merch dropping on Friday, September 13th. I uh, look out for that. The link will be uh, in the bio. Friday the 13th. Like that. Look at my mama. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Uh, Night Trains by this Hitman. episode this episode's episode's gonna air the audio's gonna air on Wednesday September right September 11 it will air so in two days from now you will get the links for all the merch Kirk is wearing one of the shirts I'm wearing another That's and cool. uh, Neva's wearing the third one and there's other two that are coming out and, and then Friday this YouTube video will be it'll be on YouTube as well yeah so, so it's, gonna, it's, it's staying up we're not taking it down so. you're not taking it it'll be on Facebook yep. okay so okay. We'll, it'll but also we'll, be, on, be on, on our youtube yeah. youtube.com slash world podcast like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to get all the the videos first cool. and then shout out to dj city for having shout us. out to dj city yes. mickey d's thank you for having yeah. us yeah. Shout, yeah. Out to shout out to where's he going shout out to rock the con shout out to scooter lady right. shot yo, everybody honestly man yo shout out to all the djs and everyone that showed up like it means a lot to us for real that y'all came through and shit like that. Shout and out to uh, congrats, stream. congrats to the Road Podcast. Yeah, yeah. We get to a hundred episodes. Episodes, yeah. Road Podcast, baby. That's how we know you, motherfuckers. The working DJ, the working DJ <laughs> show. I love it. Shout Congratulations, guys. Shout out to D Miles and Aruba. And then uh, shout oh, out to that butt lift works out well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to everybody in the live stream. Hey, out of a hundred uh, episodes, how many has Darren been a part of? 
85. A lot of them. Uh, yeah. 85. A lot of Everyone's them. kind of been MIA. Yeah, so. we've been. Yeah. I'm like a stunt double. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You mean, yeah. Yeah, we need the we need another token black. We need another black on, on the show. That's why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we're done. So yeah, this is it. Thank you to everybody. Yo, thanks for yeah. Thank you everybody. Thank you. One more thing, oh, Styles. One more thing. Hold on, one more thing. Here we go. Yeah, I appreciate everybody coming through here. Um, like, we've been doing this for ten years now. We're moving offices. It's kind of a big deal because we've been here for like twenty years. So shout out to the Mickey D Show. It's ten year anniversary as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I love that we got the Mickey D show. I love that we got it uh, in, on board with uh, Road. Uh, DJ City, like, we, we only do this shit for the culture. That's all it uh, ever comes down to. So I love these conversations. I yeah. love that we could do this. And uh, this is the end for this office, but we got some new moves coming up. And yep. Bigger and better, so. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shout, out, shout Salute. out to Styles for always putting up yeah. with our shit <laughs> at all times. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Styles, Quickie, and Edwin, Phenom. For, yeah. uh, you know, shout out to Rock the, Dazzler the whole team, too. honestly. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Dazzler. Dazzler. Yo, shout out to Dazzler. Dazzler. She yeah. had the snacks. She's, she's a real hero. She's holding she had, down she's somewhere yeah. in the, in the kitchen. But she, she had all the she's food, the drinks. The <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Snack tray was official. Oh, I just murdered <laughs> the whole shit. Yo, shout out to DJ. Butch, how long you been there? Butch has been there the whole time. I needed him to chime in about the East Coast, West Coast shit. Yeah. West Coast all day. And on, and on that note, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Cut it right, Cut it right there. Thank you, guys. It's a wrap. Peace. It's a wrap. episode. Congratulations, fellas.